Hello, are we live? Hello, hello. Okay. Hello, everyone. Assalamualaikum. How are you guys? Welcome to NBL Pro Script Season 10. Right now, I'm here with Phoenix Obi and welcome to the show. Yes, and another season. Uh, hopefully, it will be also a successful season like the previous one. The previous one was really amazing, really interesting with the interesting performance of the teams. Just look at the participants of us uh, NBL Pro Scrim Season 10. We can see Team Falcon, Team IAC, the world champion of the PUBG Mobile scene. And uh, we can also see Okay, we can also see some great performers who are actually performing and dominating over all the world scene. And as you guys all know, right now, NBL is trying to get all the international teams to participate on their tournaments. And I hope they'll be able to get more and more events coming up right soon. Right now, we're getting ready for some interesting matchups. And as you guys all know, we have two days of event. And I hope all of you guys are really excited for these type of events already. We have seen some great performances from NBL side towards the Bangladeshi overall uh, tournament sides and they have put some very interesting events already. Right now we are in NBL Pro Stream Season 10 and I hope they'll be able to come up with some better performance, better events, better uh, prize pools even. So that will really boost all of the uh, participants' confidence a little bit too. Right now we have five matches today. The first match will start from Miramar, then we will go back to Erangel and after that we'll get, go back to Sanhok. Okay, so right now we are having some more like uh, schedule changes as surprises. well. We will start with Irangel, but yeah, this is a really pleasant surprise. I, I don't know uh, why management team does this in each, each and every event. We start with Miramar on the schedule, but the first match actually starts with Irangel. So that's an interesting it's, thing, which is a really it's like good the one. Nibig, and, it's like the Nibby girlfriends, like it can change its, its mood anytime. I don't Sometimes know if the I don't know if the like, international. I'm, I'm taking it. I'm taking it from time or nerve high, uh, okay, personal life. Okay, okay. If, if 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 anything is related to girls, that is related to me by Phoenix Opie's opinion. Let's just keep that on that position. But right now, the thing is, when we are actually watching these type of events, right now we all really expect to see some great like uh, maintain schedule. But right now, it's not being done for, uh, appropriately. So I hope it will get fixed in the upcoming. Uh, matches as well right now getting ready for the interesting matchups which will start in a little bit and i hope all of you guys are really excited because it will start in a little bit starting from erangel once again and i hope all of you guys who are actually watching the stream do like and do subscribe on this event so that we'll be able to put some really great uh, performances on the upcoming ones obviously we will expect that every teams will be very serious about their performance and it seems like it is going to be a Central South Asia PMSL lobby. And that is going to be a very good platform to practice. Uh, that is going to be a very good platform to grind about the PMSL that is going to be starting very soon from the upcoming month. The teams will be aiming for the glory of PMSL and uh, NBL. Thanks to the Normies Esports for this amazing opportunity uh, for the every team. And uh, hopefully they will catch, they will grab this opportunity very well. Obviously, right now, we also want to see the Bangladeshi PMSL teams who has actually qualified on this uh, event. And if they are willing to participate on this type of events, then it will boost their confidence quite a bit. And I wish them all the successes. Everything will be uh, good in the upcoming uh, events in the PMSL. They'll be able to participate better. But right now, they need some good practice rounds. And I hope this type of events, is if they join on this, then it will boost their confidence quite a bit. Obviously. And for the, that com confidence boost, every team must uh, uh, perform according to their strategy. And every team will come up with uh, their plan A, plan B, plan C. And they will... Uh, Try to find out which plan will be the most uh, uh, adequate for this kind of situation because uh, these teams did not share a same lobby a lot of times. So yeah. this was this for a long time. Will, yeah, for a very very long time. So this is uh, a unique situation, unique opportunity for all the teams. So let's see. 
Yeah, definitely. Uh, the first game will be really exciting because we don't know about the drop locations of each and every individual team. So if someone is willing to change their drop locations, I hope that will really like create some more uh, havoc for all the players who are actually going to participate over here. Right now, we are getting ready for the first game. And right now, we are getting ready with Erangel. And as you guys all know, players are getting ready. And we are seeing the flight path starting from the edge of Sarani, which will end at military base. So all of the players, they have to get ready. And I hope someone lands in Severny and that is none other than T2K trained to kill. They have been participating with NBL with our uh, oh, like main roster for a long time. And yes, they have also joined on this game. Right now we have Regicide all the way from Pakistan. They're actually going to join over here as well. Ghost Noki. Then we have Vaz Snake and 420 Boy. They're actually going to participate. They're the uh, like one of the best players, some of the best players from Pakistan who are actually participating from the Regicide uh, side. But right now we have GSM team, they're also going to participate. We have GE, Genesis Esports from uh, Myanmar. They're actually going to participate over here. We have Hora Esports, but they're all alone in Yasna Polena. We are definitely going to miss out A1 TMT Esports. If they were all, uh, also joining on this lobby, then that would have been a great fight among the two squads. Right now, getting ready for the next couple of fights. And I wish all the successes, everything. Players are getting ready. And right now, let's see. The first couple of fights has already started. And right now, Stalwart. Okay, they're actually getting the kills. Right now, we don't know the actual roster of Stalwart Esports. But already, they are here coming strong and getting some real intense elimination points. Stalwart Esports, the giant team from South Asian region. Previously, uh, it was the roster of Falcon Esports. Recently, the roster has been changed to falcon esports but uh, let's see who will be the roster for now etn esports gaming rush line he's just waiting against gsm gremlin storm one knock is coming off from the side of etn esports gaming gremlin storm they're in a huge trouble right now they need to retaliate as soon as possible already two kills have been confirmed they are aiming for another one and the third party it is also possible from the other side, so Indian esports gaming, they have to be very, very cautious about that. Obviously, these guys need to be cautious because already they have lost some of their important players. Right now, they can't afford to lose some other guys as well. But unfortunately, that was not the case. Already, ETN got the first couple of elimination. After that, they have also been eliminated by a Reggie side. Ghost and the remaining ones also, they have taken some elimination points. And right now, we have Noki and the guys. Right now, they are willing to get some more. But the problem is, still, we have one guy from ETN who's actually surviving on this fight. Maybe he will try to survive till the end. And let's see what will happen over here. Right now, let's get ready with Boyin Esports. Right now, they're here at the edge of Pochinki. And they will take a fight against... Uh, stronger or Mapetex, I don't know. Uh, we have uh, the mixed lineup over here, but it is registered with Mapetex Esports. So Mapetex is going to participate with us and that will be a really interesting fight up over here. Right now we are looking at TSB. Right now they are going to lose some of their with the fight against Leo Esports, but still Leo versus TSB. This will be an interesting fight which will happen right now on the edge of Gatka. Oh my god, Leo Esports, they are already eliminated by TSB Esports at the previous season of NBL Pro Streams. We have already witnessed this similar fight of uh, TSB Esports. And TSB Esports, uh, in that scenario, TSB Esports performed really well. So, um, in this uh, upcoming uh, matches, TSB Esports, definitely they will try to keep up the consistency. Hawaiian Esports, they are trying to sneak out against their opposition team, STR Spike. Let's see what is their game plan for now. Obviously, Mavetech Series and the remaining ones after losing Hopeless, they would not dare to lose another guy. That will really uh, like create some more problems for the squad and they can't afford to do those things. Right now, ETN Esports Gaming. We only have two players right now, TT and Touch. They're the two guys right now. They're being surrounded by the squad of Regicide and all the players who are actually willing to see Noki and the guys. Right now, they have some more information against this ETN squad, but ETN, they don't have too much information about the enemy squad. Right now, all the kills are being taken from the uh, team Voin, but they're going to lose one of their players. Mummy was the guy who was eliminated. Jace, right now, he was also knocked out, but the remaining guys will get revived, I guess. Sirius, he's going for the final elimination points. And let's see if he can do it with the with the DP28. If the DP is, uh, like, 
in this position, DP is a good choice, but the shotgun is even better. But the problem is, he was not Whoa. really out of the enemy's position. And with the DBS, like Voin, they took some comfortable elimination point. After losing one player, they have taken four elimination points. So great start overall. Mm, that's a secret. Uh, Stalwart Esports, they're playing with their new roster and that roster is completely secret. We can see player 1, player 2, player 3 and player 4. Four anonymous players of Stalwart Esports. Already two kills have been secured. They are dropping towards the Rozok area and uh, we can also take one, one clue from this fight that the other players who like to, who used to Take fight in Rozok and Gatka area in the international stage and just uh, just find out, the, just take the clue and try to find out, try to do some brainstorming. Uh, meanwhile, we are watching player one is trying to get some information against uh, Genesis Esports. Flame Force is already knocked out. Player one, one elimination is uh, remaining from the stalwart Esports and after that, Maybe, maybe they will clutch with their full roster at the level. Obviously, let's see what will happen to this guy. Player 1, yes, that was a very intense elimination point against Genesis Esports. And already, the reigning champ from Myanmar has been taken down. That was really like, uh, like we didn't expect this type of fight to be happening over here. But still, stalwart. They are coming back with a great roster and we can smell some great talents from the squad. Let's see what will they do over here. DRS Gant and the remaining ones, they're also getting ready. Right now, we were looking at Marcelo, who is actually sleepy on the season 9. But guys, his face has been revealed and you guys all know, you guys have all seen some great talented gameplay from his side. And I hope you'll be able to participate even better on the upcoming ones. Right now, TSB is here with us and we have Arabi who is right now disconnected for a little bit. But maybe he will join back in a little while. Already he has done a 1 versus 3 for his squad and that will really boost his confidence quite a bit. And I hope in the upcoming ones, he will be able to get some more elimination points. Right now, Regicide and the remaining ones, they're here already. All uh, They have completed the loot over the George Pole area. The Northern side has been looted, but they're actually willing to go for some vehicles on the southern side. So let's see if they can get it without any sort of any problems. Obviously, they will try to get uh, the, all of the advantage that is possible for them. Right now, Regicide Esports have already secured total three elimination points. And uh, in this match, at the starting of NBL Pro Scream Season 10, we can see a lot of fights are happening at the earlier stage of the match. The first circle is not closed yet we cannot see the form of, of of the second circle yet but still we can see a lot of teams have been eliminated only 13 teams are surviving for now 99 percent esports the 99 percent esports uh they are just holding at the side of shelter and they're trying to spot the enemies let's see how they can spot the enemies and how they can retaliate a buggy was spotted inside that three times scope of belmont but uh, no casualty have been started yet. Obviously, right now we are looking at 99. Roger, Opi and the remaining guys spotted some enemy players. But unfortunately, they were not able to take any sort of any fights. Right now, they have to go in a better position than this. But right now, let's go back to DRS Sleepy. And the remaining guys, right now, they're on the like almost on the center of the circle. But they have to take a fight against FSXO. FSXO, right now, they're actually doing pretty good in the national scene. And on some international scrims, they're actually doing great. So let's see if they can take a fight against DRS and if they can win. Because already we're looking at one more team who is actually coming up on the military edge side and maybe on the bridge we will see fsxo to be uh, getting into a sandwich situation maybe that can create some more problems right now uh, one more fight is going to happen on the george Paul side on the uh, bridge side we will have ihc and reggie side they're maybe going to take a fight right now rogue zeol godless and alex they are going to participate on this match and already we're seeing the players of reggie side they're actually waiting over here and already vaz with a very good knockout right now that was a good start from the side of Reggie's side but they need to be silented and already Godless OP is doing his job and right now they have confirmed the first elimination but on the process Zeol has been taken down as well 420 boy with the confirmation so that's a good start from both the sides but Noki with another knockout Rogue has been taken down back to back knockouts from IHC Esports is not really showing some good potential on this match but right now we have two more players Godless and Alex they need to put a clutch otherwise it will be really unfortunate already we're looking at Alex who is actually moving towards his teammate but I don't know 
if he can go and revive because this guy is not in a very like good position he's in a tight spot right now there need to be some sort of smoke support or otherwise they'll be in real trouble already one more team is showing up over here and that is none other than t2k and out of nowhere t2k just came in and took another elimination from ihc they have been eliminated without any like good points good start was not here uh from the side of ihc they have lost and already after that we're looking at t2k who's actually getting some more kill confirmation they're fighting against regicide over here that was a very very preferable spot for t2k esports you can see a lot in a lot of maps t2k likes to take fight in that in that location and very smart third party is coming up from their side but for ihc that was not a very good start they are eliminated already t2k they will uh, try to sneak inside the circle senator got one more knock falcon they are in a big trouble because IC is knocked out. Hora Esports versus Falcon. Senator, he is taken down. Nears it and top. All up to them. Right now, we can see uh, top going for a run over and oh, Hora Esports. Oh, the they run. are fully eliminated. That was incredible from the side of Falcon Esports. Two kills have been secured. And uh, we can see also Stalwart Esports, the former team of this lineup. They are also surrounding right now. Let's see whether they can fight against uh, each other or not. Nirzad and I see they are both, both are knocked out from Bigger Town Esports. Obviously, Bigatron NG right now, they're also going to get some more elimination point from here. Hans and the remaining guys right now, they're going for the direct attack. The frontal support, frontal push will definitely decrease the chance of Falcon to survive over here. Already another guy was spotted, Senator, with the opening knockout right now. But can they survive? No, Falcons, they have been eliminated after taking two elimination. They have been taken down from this lobby right now. Maybe BTR versus stalwart esports that might be a good thing that might be a good start already from of the first knock came in already right now they're actually taking a fight stalwart is taking a fight against as but right now i was thinking maybe they were taking the fight against btr but that is not the case right now as crypto okay guys you guys have already seen him and right now we have asagi8 esports so that's a big tag from crypto and his side but already after losing iq they started with three men so right now they're really handicapped at this position Falak and crypto they need to pull a clutch they need to put something better on this lobby Falak he has been taken down as well and it's all up to crypto right now he needs to survive he needs to run away maybe that can be a good thing he can get inside into the zone and after that he will be able to take some better fights but right now this is not a very ideal position to take a fight as of now he needs to wait over here but already all the enemies bigatron and stalwart knows his position so he needs to be a little bit more careful on the other hand let's go back to tsb esports kokem rb insane and devil they started the fight and right now they have some more enemies in front of them they need to be a little bit careful otherwise they might go into the trap from 99 esports and player 4 is knocked out and finished immediately from Bigatron Esports. Uh, TSB Esports, they played really well, especially RRB. He took total 3 elimination points at the earlier stage. Right now, they are trying to survive with their full roster until the game ends. And if they can survive until the game ends, then definitely they can end in a very good note from the first match. Um, and they are a rising team from Bangladesh. And uh, if they can perform in this kind of lobby, that is going to be really, really, really confident poster for them. Bigatron NG, they are also trying to get inside the circle as the fourth circle is not supporting them. And uh, that is not so far from them, but they have to be very careful, very cautious about the other teams that is going to be surrounding uh, their locations for now. We can see DRS Gaming. They are also trying to get inside the circle. Killer and Delta, they will be the first players. They, are, they, are, they will be the first bunch of guys from DRS Gaming who will be taking the control of the circle. FSX Esports trying to take the fight against Bigatron NG. Obviously, if it's Axel right now, we are actually willing to see how much they can perform over here. Already, they have spotted the guys from BTR, but Keen needs to be careful. He's the only one who is actually in front, but we have one more player coming up on this position already. Teaser and the remaining guys, they also came in already right now. But the remaining guys, they are also getting hammered down. Teaser and Amir, 
they've been taken down. The position is not really actually going better for FSXO. Right now, they are three men down. And the last guy, CJ Boy, I don't know if he'll be able to take any elimination or whatsoever. Right now, he needs to the kill. But right now, he didn't know the enemy's position. BTR, that was a clean finish. And already, they have 10 elimination from this position. Still without losing any sort of place. So, that's a very good start from their side. Right now, they'll still survive. But all the remaining squads... Let's see what are they actually up to right now. Stalwart versus DRS. That might be a thing. Let's see. Delta and the remaining guys. They're actually going for some interesting fights. Delta, we were definitely missing him out on the season 9. And as he's back on this fight, let's see if he can perform like he used to. Delta S, right now, he's trying to fall back a little. He doesn't know the actual uh, enemy's position. So that's why he's just falling back into the compounds. And from this position, they'll be able to spot the enemies. And that will really create some more chances. Gayante and delta right now they're willing to wait over here for a little while and let's go back to t2k t2k esports they're here with us dear killer white is still there getting some more good elimination points killer white with a bang he was the previous season's mvp and let's see if he can reclaim that position on this season as well he, he has what it takes he has those firepower but right now he needs to have that a little bit of a luck support to get the uh, to get that um mvp position once again Obviously, and he is capable enough for do that. Um, we hope uh, he will try his best. Zygote, he was trying to sneak inside the circle. His teammate Hans, he was knocked out by killer by killer, but not finished yet. Maybe killer, uh, he is not getting the angle from where he can confirm that kill. T2K esports to rule love going directly inside the compound, and that was not. A very good decision from his side. He did not check the angles properly, and that's why he was punished immediately. Right now, Suog and Igneous, they are also joining those, uh, joining in those compound, but uh, it is not safe yet. The positions will be sacrificed as soon as possible. Jin was completely eliminated, and they are down to three players right now. Two players are active, and one is knocked out. Void and Esports trying to do a third party from their side. Three teams are fighting for a single compound that is just beside the corner of the circle. Obviously, right now, Voin Esports, they need to clutch it out against 99 and already they have started the process. They have the opening knockout and right now they just need to confirm those skills. But the problem is they have T2K Esports who is actually willing to get some more kills point from here as well. After losing Jin, right now they are actually going to take an exit from this fight. They are actually willing to get into a better uh, compound so that they can fight it out over here. Right now, Jace and the remaining guys, they need to clutch it out against 99%. But already, Belmont. He needs to give some information. So that's the thing. Right now, Nike and Roger OP, he was also taken down. So JP9 will be the final player, but he is not really lucky because DRS Delta has already spotted the guy. And 99% in the uh, like fight, they have been eliminated from here as well. Right now, we are going back to Delta S after taking a very good kill from the uh, uh, this position. Right now, they're actually going to get inside the circle. But I don't think Leon will have that privilege. He will not be able to get inside the circle. And yes, finally, he has been eliminated. BTR. They were starting really strongly and they have taken 10 elimination. But with a little bit of placement point, let's see how much point they can accumulate over here. T2K True Love and the remaining guys, they have already spotted the guys from TSB. So TSB versus T2K, that might be a thing, right? Obviously, and they are just uh, trying to get a knock with the uh, treble right now. Let's see how that uh, will be affect the opposition team T2K Esports. Uh, another follow-up grenade will be coming up from Insane71. Kokem, uh, a rescue mission is very much needed for the revival process. No grenade was, co was connected from the side of TSB Esports and they are being surrounded from the every angle. They are just in the middle of a danger zone. Delta, he took down player 2 from Stalwart Esports. Igneous, he was taken down in 71. Brilliant knock coming up from him. Trula falling back. He he has to fall back as uh, they don't have any information about TSB Esports right now. But TSB Esports, they were not in a very good situation. Already insane 71 and the remaining 
Yeah, they're actually waiting on a very open position so they might be spotted from the rest of the sides as well already dealt tied the remaining guys they're actually willing to get some more kills over here and that was a very good finish from gayante he confirmed the kill with a vehicle explosion and that was a good kill from drs side they have four elimination already and delta right now we were talking about these guys in a little while ago but yes he's actually performing really great right now we have the airdrop as well and this drop is containing a p90 with all the level 3 gear so definitely this is a drop worth risking your life so let's see who is actually willing to get it killer white he's also waiting over here but unfortunately he didn't get a single kill in this match so let's see if he can get the kill from ghost or the other guys but ghost he's just waiting over here not showing his position at all but the remaining guys they are actually in a, a like a different position ghost has been eliminated finally and drs confirmed their fifth elimination killer whitey still he didn't get a single kill over here point they have been spotted and yes, Gayanta with the opening lock, knock. maybe he can confirm the kill without any sort of hesitations. Brilliant knock coming up from him and another run over is coming. Uh, Igneous, he has taken down Kokem with his grenade action. Maxius, he is taken down by Delta. DRS Gaming, they are fully intact with their full roster. We are also see a lot of actions between T2K Esports and DRS Gaming. They are there with their maximum roster. Right now, TDP Sports, they have already lost one of their team members, but Joanne Chase, 88, he is eliminated but killer by Killer YT. Killer YT is trying to get as many kills as possible, but the problem is uh, he is knocked out right now. Um, let's see how Gamte will complete that rescue mission. Suyog, he is trying to reposition, he is trying to get the advantage, and they all waiting for the stage 6, 10 seconds. After the 10 seconds, we can see the 10th, uh, 6th circle uh, that will be favorable for which team? RTG, T2K Sports, or DRS? Which team will be the lucky team? Obviously, already the Regicide squad, they are surviving with only one player. He's just willing to get the second position, nothing else right now. TRS has the manpower, but T2K has the willpower. So let's see, manpower versus willpower. Who wins on this fight? T2K Turulab, he might be taking some damage from the grenade. If Sleepy can pull it off, that will really boost the chances quite a bit. Gayanta, the remaining guys, they need to perform. They need to get the first chicken dinner and they need to show that they are the season 9's champions. So let's see if they are actually willing to get that uh, like champion slot or not. The first game, it's almost confirmed that they're actually getting that like top two positions at least. I'm not too, too, totally sure about the chicken dinner or not, but see, let's see uh, if it is going to happen or not right now. Killer YT is not really getting the uh, information from the side of T2K, but T2K side, they're actually willing to stay on the edge of the circle. They're not actually going very deep so that DRS's player can get some more information. Right now, they will definitely move after the next circle shifts. But already Igneous, he started with a bang with five elimination. He's in a great spot. Let's see if he can get some more on this. But Igneous, he doesn't know the enemy's positions. Right? Like really... Uh, this can be a really problematic situation if he gets knocked out on this position because all the other players they're actually going for the like rotation he's the only one who is actually supporting the flank angle exactly and the solo player from r3g esports he can be a very big problem for the both team drs gaming and t2k esports and uh, definitely t2k esports and drs gaming they will not expect this kind of situation they will not uh uh, they will definitely try to finish this solo guy as soon as possible. If he, they can do that, uh, definitely that's going to be very helpful to take the last fight, to take the ultimate fight. Kulov trying to trace the vehicle of Killer YT, but that was not possible. And uh, DRS Gante, he is already going for the upper area, upper hill area and with the reach support. T2K Esports, maybe they will be in a very, very, very problematic trap. Igneous, he is trying to uh, reposition and there was a stone. And that's going to be very, very big, precious uh, situation, precious location for them. Solo player from R3G, he's completely eliminated. Resident Esports, they are eliminated. Hashtag 3, we can see the ultimate fight right now. Two teams are surviving. And both teams are from Nepal, DRS Gaming and T2K Sports.
Definitely. Two of the best teams right now. They are actually taking the fight. DRS versus T2K. Who will win? DRS right now, they are actually willing to get the zone control. They are taking the center of the circle so that if the circle shifts the lake into a very weird angle, still they have the better opportunities. But on the other hand, let's talk about T2K. Still, they're in a tight spot. They don't have the information about DRS gaming. They have really uh, heard the vehicle sounds and that will really create some cues but i don't think that will like boost the chances quite a bit they know the enemy's positions but still t2k right now they need to pull a miracle maybe with some grenades that will create some more chances delta and killer right now they're actually moving in already they have spotted one guy but what will be happening over here but right now delta and killer they are actually willing to get ready with the grenade let's see if they can pull it off Already a grenade was thrown from the side of DRS Gaming, but still that not that did not create any sort of chances. Ignea still he's waiting on the edge of the circle, but right now they're actually out of the circle. They're not in a very ideal position already. Maybe Igneous's position has been compromised. And already, as you guys all have seen, Delta he's trying to clutch it out with that MG3, but that was not it yet. Already the remaining guys, they're also also coming up over here. And finally, Killer YG with another important knockout. Already one more guy, Delta Turlov, he has been taken down as well. Suyok will be the final guy but let's see if Suyok can clutch it out that is a one versus two scene right now maybe Gayanta will be finished on this position T2K will uh, try to get as much skill as they can get over here but Sleepy is trying to use all the grenades that he has stored on his arsenal let's see if he can confirm that elimination point Sleepy right now the, he will just jump in and try to confirm Suyok but yes Suyok he was also taken down by Sleepy yes, finally kill confirmation is coming up DRS gaming they are going to take the first chicken dinner of the day. T2K came in second. Great performance from their side as well. What a performance by DRS Gaming. Both the attack and defense. That was brilliant from uh, their side. When they were knocked out by T2K Esports at the last fight, they completed one rescue as well. And after that, they confirmed the winner with a chicken dinner. From their first match, DRS Gaming is showing their class. They are showing the domination they can deliver at this kind of level, uh, at this kind of lobby. Amazing, amazing start for DRS Gaming. Uh, definitely, they will try to confirm the title of Season 10 of NBL Pro Streams as well. Definitely the first MVP that is none other than Ineos from T2K. So he is actually doing great, great start from him. And I hope he will be able to continue his uh, like run on this MVP ranking. Right now he has 5 elimination with 665 overall damage only. So that's a very, very, very uh, good damage stats and elimination stats over here. But the longest elimination distance, that was really great as well. 339 meters that was. Right now we have 1 assist from this guy and 190 for healing done from his side so great match overall from this guy t2k igneous he's actually doing great but what will happen on the next couple of matches we have to watch out over here right now we have drs t2k regicide and btr the top four teams who are actually getting the most points from this lobby overall but it was t2k and drs who used the most amount of throwables btr they were actually trying to use the throwables but right now in comparison to drs and t2k that was a little bit too low still that was comparable but regicide only two grenades no smokes nothing so wow. that was really unfortunate they tried to play a little bit sneaky game as uh, they were losing the teammates at the earlier part just look at full squad time that is seven minutes and 21 seconds that is the lowest of the top four teams so that's why they were trying to stay in as uh, stealth as possible whatever the pointer come points are coming i have seen registered esports they have secured a lot of kills at the earlier part of the game so that is gonna be really helpful at the overall ranking so uh, definitely they will try to focus on the full squad time just like drs gaming uh if you look at btr big at sean uh, rg they are very good with the treble usage total 14 uh, smokes were coming up from their side. 22 points collected by DRS Gaming. T2K Esports total. Points are 14 for them. Regicide, as I was said. Total 6 elimination points have been secured by them. And uh, BTR, just look at the elimination points. With only the elimination points, they can dominate. And they are at the le same level of uh, elimination points, almost at the same level of elimination points of TRS Gaming. DRS Gaming, they secure total 12 elimination points, and we get Sean RG, they secure total 10 elimination points. Not a huge difference between the both teams. 
So definitely that's going to be a very big challenge for DRS Gaming, PTR, RG. They were not present at the Season 9, at the previous season. And this, this fresh team, this fresh strategy, that is going to be a very big problem for all the teams like DRS Gaming and T2K Esports. ASAG, uh, uh, this team we know as uh, I8, again I8. Uh, they secured total one elimination points and one for I8, C4, MB and GSM. Obviously, but the remaining four squads, they were not able to get a single point. Exo, Hora, GE and Leo. They are some really good squads who have proven themselves on the previous seasons of NBL. But unfortunately, the first game was not really uh, giving them any sort of support or any luck or whatsoever. But th it is the first game. We still have nine more matches. And let's see who is actually going to win from this fight. So overall, right now, we are getting ready with the first game. But after the first game, we are actually getting ready on Miramar. So let's see. It will start in a little bit. But before that, if you haven't subscribed already onto the NBL YouTube channel, please do it. And if you like our castings as well, you can find us on our social handles as well. Please give us some sort of like suggestions so that we can improve over here as well. Right now, let's get ready with the next one. I guess we can take a very short break in a little while. And guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do it. Right now, we're going for the short break. And after the break, we're coming back directly with the match.
Okay, hello guys, we're back once again. Right now, you guys are watching NBL Pro Stream Season 10. The first match has already ended and right now we are getting ready for the next one. And I hope all of you guys are actually enjoying the first game. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like on the stream. Because this like will definitely boost the confidence of NBL management as well. They will be able to uh, like give out some more important uh, events, important some informations and some really great scrim on the upcoming ones so that all of our Bangladeshi teams can over uh, also participate over here. Let's see in the upcoming days what are they planning. And I hope we are actually willing to get the get to do all the matches and everything as well because we're actually willing to see how better can get, uh, can these teams can get. Already we are looking uh, like in a very short little while PMSL will start and in this PMSL definitely. We'll have some great competitions. So all the Bangladeshi teams who has qualified over there has uh, some really good thing to watch. So I hope in this uh, event, in this scrims, they will be able to participate in this scrims. They will be able to get some more good information upcoming world. Obviously, and uh, you have already said about the drop clashes and a lot of teams that is going to be clash against each other in the drop location. In the previous match in Edangil, uh, definitely in Central South Asia, PMSL, Super League, Hora Esports will be facing a lot of uh, draft clashes against A1 TMT Esports. And that is going to be a very interesting fight. Uh, they are not uh, participating in this tournament in this season of uh, NBL Pro Screens, but definitely we'll expect uh, them in the upcoming seasons. But let's talk about the flight path of this Miramar map. The first Miramar match of the season 10 and that is starting from the edge of Los Lunas and going straight towards Lagobria. Seriously guys, if you talk about Miramar, definitely the main cities, the main fight who, what, which is actually going to happen on this uh, match will be Los Lunas. Maybe some great fight will occur on San Martin as well. Maybe some teams will go for the El Pozo section. But what will happen to the rest of the side? Like if we talk about 99 esports, they're actually going for Los Higos, which is not really a uh, like favorite draw for the most of the teams. But definitely, if 99 Esports can get some good loot, maybe they can come back once again and maybe they can take a fight against GSM in the Chumasera region. Maybe that can create some more chances for the squad. I8, they're a very, very, very agile squad and already they have taken the Los Leones side. Maybe FSXO or Voin, if they can take a fight in... in this uh, Los Lunas area, then maybe I8 can go for the counter attack. Maybe they can go for the third party. That will create some more possibilities. I8C, they're really famous for going into the Monte Nuevo side. And yes, they're actually going for that uh, drop location. On the other hand, Regicide is actually taking the El Pozo side. FSXO, they're taking the first elimination. So that's a good start. Keen with bare minimum HP. Still, he's uh, trying to survive on this fight. And already, they're taking some more knockouts against maybe a 4MV. Okay, 4MV is here. And already, as you guys have seen, 4MV uh, has lost one of their players. So, that was a very unfortunate start. They have a mixed squad right now. One player from 4MV, one player from Maptex, one player from Stronger. So, like, we can't say for certain which squad this is. But it is actually uh, getting registered for uh, the 4MV, 4 Miracle Vibes side. So, yeah. That's the thing right now. If it's so they're also getting to uh, the fight once again. Spike has been taken down. Stronger Spike. He needs to be careful. But right now, CJ Boy, he needs to pull a clutch with that DBS. Let's see if he can get a knockout over here. But that was a good start from CJ Boy. He dealt some very important damages. But he needs to clutch it out. But no, no, no. That was a very bad move from this guy. Once again, Teaser and the remaining ones, they're actually willing to get some more points. Serious, he's over here right now. But Teaser! That was a not that was not a very good place to reload. And yes, guys, Amir Bhav still he's trying to clutch it out. And already another elimination point has been secured from the side. But CJ Boy, he will not get back his life. Once again, FSXO is trying to uh, revive their knocked out teammates. Amir Bhav needs to close that door first. Otherwise, West will come in and he will definitely spot the enemies. In this kind of lobby, you cannot afford a mistake. If you make a mistake, there will be a very minimum chance to recover that, repay that. Right now, if a sector esports skin, he is on his knees. Teaser, just look at the HP. He's in a very, very big trouble. They have already secured three elevation points, but that is not enough if you want to dominate this kind of lobby. Amir Vau trying to get another knock, trying to retaliate against the team. But Vaughn Esports, let's see how they're going to react with that. Right now, teaser, no healing items for him. 
just waiting for the luck, just waiting for another opportunity. Obviously, FSXO after confirming the three kills of the first of the match, right now they have to take the fight once again against Voin Esports. They're not really showing their positions uh, in a little while ago, but still, they need to get those kills. That's why they're getting ready. FSXO Keen, he has those 10 bullets with that DBS. Maybe that 10 bullet will be enough. Maybe that will not be enough. We still have to wait and see. Leo Esports, the first match was not really great from their side, and already they're actually losing some of their players once again. Even GE, Genesis Esports, Myanmar has been eliminated from this lobby already and they're not really actually doing great. Right now, our claw has been taken down. Liquid X will be the final player who needs to be uh, taken down from the side of Bigatron. NG, Hans and the remaining one, they're actually going in. Liquid X, he might be spotted and Liquid with the first opening knockout with that Uzi. That was a great start. Uh, let's, say, uh, let's say once again, Leon, he's moving in. Leon Punk 7, he has spotted the guy. Liquid X, even though he was spotted, still he is showing no uh, signs of stopping whatsoever liquid x needs to do that clutch if he had a vehicle then maybe he would try to go away from this fight that would have created some more chances for him to survive but i guess that will not be it because all the remaining players there they are actually moving in leon punk with the kill confirmation that's a good start even for miracle vibes they have been eliminated from the side of Voin. Voin took another elimination. Right now, they are starting with two. But if it's EXO, after losing their first player, they're here with three pl uh, players and three eliminations. But the fight have not ended yet. FSXO teaser, they were trying to do the third party, but Keen and teaser, they are knocked out simultaneously. Amir Bhav will be the only one. Let's see whether he gonna fall back from this fight or he will be clutched against the remaining team. Amir Bhav, he is not in a very comfortable situation right now. This is not favoring him at all. He is already exposed. His position is already sacrificed. Mami Blue is trying to eliminate and that kill was secured by Voiny Sports. Five kills have been secured, three kills from uh, uh, one player, Crypto, star player from IE Esports. We can see they are trying to rotate and uh, Lost Learners, that is very, very, very preferable aside for them. But uh, they will try to explore uh, some other areas at the earlier circle. DRS Gaming try trying to move. No early cash world keys at the drop location. Obviously, the first match's winner is here with us, guys. Let's hear it for DRS Gaming. Let's spam some hearts on the chat section. XMP, he is back, and we have Killer Gante and Sleepy were actually participating. So, Delta is missing out on this match, definitely. All the Delta fans will miss him out on this match, but maybe he will come back on the uh, next couple of matches. Definitely, that will really boost the confidence of the audience in a, a little bit. Right now, Hora Esports, they're in front of us as well. Uh, maybe Mr. Boro will get spotted from the side of crazy side but still there was not a very good sign that was not a very good position from uh, the side of gsm dictator he has been spotted from the players of ste stalwart esports they're actually moving in all with and the wrath of the hrx and the remaining guys they need some support already that was a very good damage from the uh, gsm dictator but unfortunately he has been taken down player one from stalwart he, they have confirmed the elimination point knockout 70 and the remaining ones they're actually moving in straight attack is coming from the side of uh, stalwart esports the dsm needs to run away already player three has been spotted by five nine let's see if he can get another important knockout knockout has been knocked out on this position i don't know if he'll be able to survive on this fight or not but five nine and hrx maybe they will get spotted even already player four he's moving in five nine was taken down with a beautiful grenade and yes, his skill will be taken in a little bit. Wrath of the Age the, the, will be the final player, but I don't know if he'll have the privilege to survive. Yeah, and, and yes, guys, he has been eliminated. Player 2 with a 1 versus 3 clutch against Gremlin. That was a great start. And yes, guys, after that, GSM with 0 point, they have been eliminated. Unfortunate event for them at the previous match. They were not uh, very lucky. Just one uh, elimination, uh, one points have been secured at the previous match. I eat see they are also in a similar situation at the earlier part of the Iron Girl match. We saw I eight he was eliminated right now. T2K2 love, he is knocked out. And Zion, he is not in a very good situation. Malik from Hora Esports, he is knocked out by R3G Registered Esports. Noki and Registered Esports, they secured early kills at the previous uh, match as well. Total 6 kills was secured by them. Just look at the circle. Let's look at the circle that is going towards the Impala area. 
obviously this is going to be a hilly circle definitely all the players who are actually waiting at the edge of the circle they need to move in quickly already we're looking at falcon esports one player needs it he's still outside the circle but yes he has already moved inside so no blue zone damage will occur for this guy but the remaining one action he has already joined the match on the previous one we have seen the coach mr senator he is actually going to uh participate on the uh like first game but yes he's not joining the all the players all the main players they're actually going to join on the next one and hope action will continue to participate on the next couple of matches as well well xmpl he has been taken down right now t2k versus drs that is happening on the first game we have seen these two teams fighting it out on the first last couple of minutes on this uh, battleground but yes yet again the fight is happening between drs versus t2k and already t2k they're actually killing some of their players drs right now surviving with two members only so it is going to be an interesting two versus two but still drs they're actually getting hammered down from the remaining side sleepy has been taken down but that knockout came on from the side of et and out of nowhere they came in and they're also getting the most of this fight definitely drs gaming there's esports they're surviving with their only player only that was killer royalty killer royalty trying to get the kills at least one from their side was targeted but 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 not t2k esports the last smile was from etn esports gaming and they have secret total six elimination points both the team drs gaming and t2k esports two giant teams from nepal they were eliminated from uh etn esports gaming and only nine teams are surviving and this is the second circle guys a lot of fights are happening every team wants to take as much fight as possible point esports already secured total five elimination points and they are just trying to support the enemies the locations of i80 sports obviously maxius maxius he has been spotted from the guys of asi8 maybe but maxius he doesn't want to get involved in this fight anymore that's why he's just leaving from the side and maybe he can go back to that hill where his other teammates are at right now so maybe if they can regroup Maybe they will be able to get into some great fights. Once again, airdrop 2 has been landed. And already, as you guys can see, this drop is containing a Groza with some real good loots. With the, all the level 3 gears, it will definitely boost the confidence of the player who gets the drop. So, if someone comes in, definitely we will be able to give you guys all the information. But once again, let's go back to Regicide. After confirming the poor elimination, they're actually getting inside the circle. But they have one squad to eliminate. And after that, they will have no problem whatsoever. And right now, already touch was spotted and he was taking some bad damage from ghost but ghost just in a like a little bit of time he dealt some really good damages but that was not good enough to get the knockout already uh the players from reggie said they're actually falling back they need to get inside the circle they can't afford to wait on this uh area because they there will be a very 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 big penalty of this uh blue zone so let's see if they can get inside or not or whatsoever right now i hc they're here as well after taking four elimination Let's see if they can get some more kills on this fight. Uh, rotation should not be a very big challenge for them. Just look at the circle. Look at the uh, position of the teams. The southern part is fully empty and uh, uh, the northern west teams, they will try to get inside the circle and uh, that uh, portion should be empty for them as well. We can see 99% esports, they are getting some damages and Hans, he has confirmed the kill of I eat it got less already. Alex, he is in a very, very big trouble right now. Bigger Sean just secured the kill of Alex Esports Hans. He was definitely helping his teammates. Just look, just look at the kill tally of Hans. Already four kills have been secured by him. Obviously, Hans already starting with a bang. That was a very important for elimination from his side. And let's see if he can get some more. Right now, Ziol. Still was knocked out even and Zygote but that was a good knockout from his side Rogue will be the final guy from IHC but will he be able to get some more knockouts from this position let's see we're actually waiting over here Zygote he doesn't know the enemy's position correctly that's why he's just waiting over here on the, of the circle but that was a very good grenade Zygote and Hans both the guys were knocked out Hans he will be taken down and Leon Punk will be the final player but he doesn't know the enemy's actual location if the enemy is actually moving in front then maybe there will be some good chances hans maybe 
he was a little bit over exaggerating maybe that's why he was taken down but leon punk he was no time at all he'll get back into the circle and after getting back into the circle they might be able to take the fight once again Megatron, uh and hans he will be eliminated immediately one player just one player is surviving leon uh he is trying to get into the circle i think a glitch we can witness from this side Nerizad, he is also taken down. Falcon Esports, the previous match was so, so not good, not bad. Six points were secured by their side. But in this match, they will definitely try their best to get as much point as possible. Falcon, Falcon Esports versus Regicide Esports. Uh, a shotgun that will be helping them. After the nerf of DBS, s that is going to be a very big big um, asset for all the teams if they want to use any kind of shotgun in the close range fight right now we can see ghost he is trying to spot icy just one bullet will be enough to take down that player but that was not the case that was not the angle that he was looking for i see he is trying to join with the near set another beautiful headshot was coming vast snake Definitely, he is just trying to attack, uh, but uh, the revival process that will be very, very important. Noki, he will be activated soon, and the revival process have been completed. R3G, Regicide Esports, they are back once again with their full roster. Grenade is coming up from Vast Snake, and that was a brilliant grenade from his side. Both of the players, they were just shattered within a second. Top. He will also eliminate it. He will be eliminated as well. Falcon CSA. They are out of this match from now. We can see only six teams are surviving, and Regicide Esports here at the top two positions. And uh, definitely, they have the chance to overtake TRS Gaming after this match. They have already 21 points and after taking the top 6 position, they are not willing to stop at all. Definitely, they will try to get as much as points they can get. That will really boost their chances quite a bit. But right now, let's talk about TSB Esports once again. They were trying to survive till the end of the first game and right now, they are actually doing the same thing over here as well. So maybe they will be able to try to survive for a little while. Let's see what happens. Right now, let's go back to Ghost and the remaining guys. Vaz with 3 elimination, Ghost with 4 elimination. Let's see if they can take more over here arabi and insane they're actually willing to stay over here for a little while but they need to move inside on that building so that they don't get water from anyone else 19 and belmont maybe they can get this chicken dinner as well but still they need to play this smartly otherwise they might get spotted from the side of regicide and regicide will be able to get some more knockouts and knock uh, elimination from here right now let's go back to etn esports after wiping out two of the most impressive squads from the first game Let's see if they're actually willing to get some more over here. Already TTZZ, he's just waiting over here. Maybe already this guy has spotted Arabi. Ghost and the remaining guys, they're actually on this specific spot as well. So another third party from ETN Esports Gaming, that might be a thing. That might be a possibility. Obviously, that might be a possibility. TSB Esports, they were in a huge trouble the earlier part of the game, but they uh, managed that uh, risk very, very uh, well mannered way right now Voyan esports they are trying to play h to h game as uh, they have already secured total five animation points and not a lot of teams is surviving so they don't want to be trapped at the middle of the circle they don't want to get engaged with all the teams from the age and that's why they are trying to play with that higher elevation right now jace 88 he's trying to spot the enemies and uh, after 25 seconds approximately we can see another circle will be forming up etn esports they are playing really great at, at this match countdown has begun already tsb esports etn esports they are not so far and uh, definitely there can be a very good fight between them Obviously, Maxius is just waiting over here right now. Without the zone movement, they will not really get the like next couple of animations, which is really important for the side. But TSB, they are not really lucky right now. They are on the edge of the circle, but still outside. They can't go inside the circle because already the side of Regicide squad they have uh, like surrounded the players from TSB. Maybe Ghost and the remaining guys they are actually willing to get some more information. If someone comes from the edge of the circle, maybe they can get spotted. Once again, TSB, Arabian, Insane, they need to move inside. But Baz, 
he has not spotted the guys on his right so he needs to move in already Noki, he's in front of us maybe he has uh, spotted the guys from etn esports maybe etn versus regicide that might be a thing which will happen in a little while but all the guys from regicide they are in a very big split so they need to play this smartly so that they don't lose any of their player and they get some interesting fights even uh, that will create more possibilities vaz snake maybe he spotted touch and yes that was a very good damage dealing from his side was even though the enemy was not really getting spotted but still they're actually doing great already was like he's moving inside and outside once again he's not really staying in a single position so that if some enemies spot him but still he will not be taken down he's just swing over here for the next movement next zone will shift in uh two minutes so guys we have to wait for a little while on the other hand 99 percent they are actually moving inside and maybe it will be a fight against 99 versus the side that can be a thing Vaz doesn't know that some guys are coming from his left side so 99 in esports as of now they are not spotted they're not spotted yet and in this tournament this is not gonna be a very big journey we can see only uh two days will be played by all the teams and each day we can witness over five matches so only 10 matches will be in their hands and two match is already finishing up and that was a very good spray coming up from rb and the kill has been already secured or not i guess that kill was stolen by some people and uh, insane and rb they will try to get, get inside the circle once again that was very unlucky for rb right now ghost they will try to spot uh, the player of 99 esports 99 esports they did not secure any elimination points it is uh, a g i e a long 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 uh, name for the team but uh, the performance uh, they are capable of that is also very very glorious but uh, so far not so lucky Arabi he's also eliminated in 71 he's also eliminated we're down to top five teams right now Noki uh, he is not spotted yet crypto he was expecting Noki but Noki he was not present uh, the sound cue that was a tracking uh, uh, the attention of uh, crypto crypto he's a very very experienced guy the star player of ie esports again esports gaming trying to prone inside the circle noki secured another kill we're down to top four teams right now we esports they're fully eliminated Basically, right now, I aid they have started with three men once again. But even though they have three players, doesn't mean they have like less power of uh, less amount of gun powers. But yes, they need to play this smartly. Right now, Falak he needs to use the vehicle to get behind the cover. But that vehicle needs to stay inside the circle as well. So they need to find some better ridges for them some covers. IQ he is moving in. Crypto he needs to move in as well. Right now, they are actually taking the fight against the uh, regicide squad let's see iq if he can pull off another grenade clutch against the enemy players vaz maybe he will get into some more troubles he has taken 24 damages from here but vaz he's also getting prepared with another grenade let's see who gets the first knockout from here already vaz getting ready but once again clip with a very a good support from here already they're trying to get some more elimination points already they have taken the first kill and crypto was the guy the first one but right now they're actually willing to get some more noki he might be eliminated from here as well vaz and noki they're the survivors on this position but still we ghost who is actually a little bit too far away and yes he was doing some very good knockout the first knock came in from his side and already one guy is is g falak has been taken down but they need to play this smartly so that they don't lose any more of their players obviously and uh, going for another molotov Grenades are coming up towards crypto and a lot of damage has been taken and uh, he is trying to deal some grenade damage as well IQ that was a brilliant knock coming up from his side inside esports they're also in a very big danger the ghost he's the only one surviving from regicide esports once again solo performance will be beginning from the side of regicide esports goals river skier is turned on trying to get the cover behind the vehicle can he get a knock off iq iq he is very good with his spray action completed completed shattered 
right now he will be shattered and reside esports they are completely wiped out nothing to do the location was very exposed out in the open nothing to do kills have been secured by ashei8 esports right now we can see three teams are surviving and one esports they are surviving with their five element points and three uh, players available 99% they need to play very smart as they were not that much of active at the earlier part of the game they did not uh, secure a lot of kills at the earlier part of the game obviously voin they have five eliminations and let's see if he can confirm crypto crypto he was a little too far away but right now maxius will not try to get into the fight once again against crypto this is very good in long ranges i don't know if if he knows that it is crypto in front of him otherwise maybe he were just waiting over here but right right now we're looking at crypto who is falling back a little maybe he needs a better vehicle maybe he needs a better cover and as they are on the edge of the circle all eyes are surrounding asagi at sports right now um, mommy blue was trying to get into some more a uh, fight but right now he needed to come back already because all the other players from agonx i8 they are trying to get some more damages with those grenades but still that was not good enough crypto and falak they need to move in as well right now they don't have the zone support anymore but falak let's see if he can clutch it out with that p90 that's a very 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 agile weapon and in close range like in my opinion that is even better than groza or uzi in some cases so maybe that will be a like better weapon to watch and let's see if Allah can clutch it out over here owner and the guy belmont they're just waiting on the edge of this building but still as they have the zone support maybe it will be a clutch coming from their side voin one guy was spotted from belmont and he did some very good damages Obviously, Maxius, they will wait for a bit as they have the circle advantage. I eat. They don't have the circle advantage, so they will try to sneak inside the circle. And uh, for any sports and 99 esports, they will definitely try to block that rotation. If they are able to do that properly, then uh, that's going to be a very difficult task for i8 funny sports chase 88 he is getting damage from the blue zone and he is getting damage from the enemies as well and for the result he is eliminated roger op he was smart enough he was agile enough to secure that kill and uh 99 esports is getting some kills uh from this situation as well one esports smokes will be very handy in this kind of situation Obviously, you need to put a lot of smokes, otherwise it will get spotted from here. But right now, Voin, they are coming back on the edge of this ridge. Once again, IQ is coming in front and IQ has been taken down by Mummy. That was a good start. That was a very good knockout. Let's see if they can go for the confirmations. But once again, I they are doing some real good damages with those grenades. And actually, they're scaring off the enemy player. That's the most important thing that they can do right now. IQ has been confirmed. Finally, Crypto. He needs to get behind the cover and yes he can get back in the cover right now he needs to use a smoke but does unfortunately he doesn't have any sort of smoke support this side right now he is using another grenade okay that was a clean one crypto with the opening and maxius right now he can't afford to move in front as his teammate is knockout he will just wait over here and using that time crypto will move in directly and he will go for the direct assault frontal assault from crypto side will happen once again 1v1 oh and God. just with bare minimum hp <laughs> somehow he was able to clutch it out that was really marvelous from the side of crypto and i8 they will secure at least the second position so that's a good start from their side as well on the first game unfortunately they were not able to take too much of a point but on this game they're actually doing some smart gameplays right now 99 esports they're in front of us and 99 person belmont he's here getting ready with the grenade but i don't think that grenade will do anything at all now let's see how they will take fight against each other two teams are surviving a three versus two fight between 99 percent esports versus ASAGI8 esports. Uh, though their name is 99% esports, but their fate will be 100% that they will be trying their best to get on. You know, when a check in there, brilliant, brilliant knock coming up from Belmont and Crypto. He was taken down. Falak, within a moment, he traded that uh, elimination and with the latest weapon that was helping that was really helping as timer was talking about the effectiveness in the close range that is 
really really brutal right now Falak he will try uh, his best to uh, sport the player on Dan let's see on Dan how he will react against the player Falak okay that will be a really interesting one versus one Belmont will get eliminated and so no sort of support whatsoever coming from his side once again this guy from 19 and esports he's just proning over here but Falak he needs to pull a clutch one versus two still not impossible from his side but if he had some more grenade to work with that would have created some more chances from his side once again roger op he might be the first guy to spot out Falak, but he needs to play this smartly Falak, he's just waiting over here but roger he's not showing any sort of movement anything whatsoever right now this zone will shift in a little bit and already as you guys have seen already this guy owner dan he has the zones centered all the other thing all the other problems will on be on one side but the zone that will really create some more problems for each and every individual player over here Falak, he's still waiting on the edge of the circle but owner dan is showing no sort of movement nothing at all finally some like movement adjustment came from his side but still he is not moving uh from his prone position so still no sound cues nothing coming for Falak whatsoever right now this guy is using his last smoke but Roger Opie, he also needs to move in. Owner Dan, he didn't spot the enemy player as of now. But Owner, yes, he was taken down. And that was a good knock from Falak. Wow. He knew exactly where that player might be waiting at. And oh. yes, he has been eliminated. <laughs> this guy, Falak, with two grenades, two players has been eliminated. He knew exactly where that player would be. And yes, he has confirmed two kills. Great performance, great ending from the side of ASAGI8 Esports. Great performance. They have taken the second match's chicken. Congratulations. Brilliant performance by Falak. Uh, Crypto, he was playing really well. Falak uh, and IQ, they they show the class of I8 Esports. ASAGI8, they secured total... Uh, a lot of points from this match. Uh, definitely, Crypto, you will be the MVP, most valuable player from the first bit of our match of day one with total 656 damage dealt by him, uh, exchanging uh, with the total four elimination points. But the fight that was take taken by Falak at the last stage, that was really bl brilliant. Clean sweep from him. He was the solo guy. Um, IQ, Falak, both uh, both were struggling a lot. But Falak, he survived and secured the winner with a chicken dinner. Total uh, 15 smokes and 15 grenades was, was used. That was a maximum from any team in top 4. We can see uh, 18 points have been secured by ASHEI 80 Sports. So, on the other hand, we can see R3G. They secured 14 points and uh, double digit points have been secured by Point and ETN as well. In top 5, we can see 99 Esports. 99 Esports, they survived until the last zone, the last battle. But the problem is elimination points. That was not good enough to overtake the overshadowing of Point Esports and ETN Esports. Obviously, but what will happen to the rest of the teams? Maybe some of the teams have already secured a zero points from the second game as well. Miramar match was not really in their favor at all. But still, we have some more matches coming up in a little while. So maybe they'll be able to come back on the next couple of fights in a better way. Right now, we have Hora, GSM and Genesis with zero points. So that was really unfortunate from their side. Even though all the fans from Hora Esports, they're actually expecting some great results. From the squad uh but unfortunately they were not able to deal some very good uh like points from the first two games i hope they'll be able to come back stronger on the next one so we just have to wait and watch with all our hopes high right now for gsm the first two matches were not really up to the mark as well they were able to take uh elimination on the first game but on this game they were not able to take any point whatsoever so they need to play with a different strategy i suppose because their regular strategy is not working out in this international lobby so i hope they'll be able to come back on the uh, next one but right now mvp ranking is in front of us and regicide ghost is here with us voin maxias he's here with us Le uh, leon punk from btrng they're actually 
actually participating. I8 Crypto, he's actually joining with us as well. And DRS Killer White, he's not going to move away from his position. He is the MVP from Season 9. And that will be uh, like another thing that he will try to hold his position once again. Right now, overall ranking is in front of us. DRS Gaming with the first chicken dinner. They're still holding their first position. But Regicide, they are not lagging behind at all. That uh, The chicken dinner number is not there with them. But they have the elimination to counter it. Same, same, but different. 25 and 25. TRS Gaming, they have secured 25 points. And Richard Esports, they were playing really good at the earlier stage. ASCG, comeback was happening. And the comeback was really, really brilliant. Falcon CSA secured total 10 points. Uh, not justifying their name. Not justifying their experiences, but you have to remember, still, they have eight matches in their hand. TSB Esports, IHC Esports, they are also trying. FSX Esports, they were already uh, facing some sort of problem. Uh, guys, you were watching NBL Pro Scream Season 10. We have already completed two matches of Day 1. If you are enjoying, don't forget to hit that like button. Obviously, guys, right now we're going for a short game.
Okay, hello everyone. We are back once again. Now you guys are watching NBL Pro Stream Season 10. Getting ready for the first Sandhawk game of this event. Right now, me and Phoenix, we are getting ready for the fight. And as you guys have already seen the first two matches, I hope you guys are really interested to see the Sandhawk game. Let's see what drop clashes will occur or not. This will be an interesting fight. Obviously, this is a very small map, and in this kind of small map, we can see a lot of fight is possible. In a bigger map like Miramar, in a bigger map like Irangel, we have seen a lot of fight. And that's why we can also expect a lot of fight in this kind of small map, 4 km by 4 km. Only, uh, only, only, only 4 square kilometer map in Sanok. Let's see where uh, the draw fuzz will be happening. Normally, we can expect, we can anticipate the fight in bootcamp area. Bootcamp area, that is a very hot spot area. We can also expect the fight in Pinan area. Oh my god, the flight path has been started already. We can see from Camp Jelly to Camp Alpha, the flight path is already starting. And uh, Gremlin Storm, they are going towards the dock area. That is the southern east part of the area. But the TSB Esports, TSB Esports, they are playing with the T2K logo. Oh my god, that is very nice. Sami, we can see ETN, BTR, Bigatron, they are taking the control of Pinan. They are also taking the control of the outside of Pinan. They need a lot of space. That same, same, but different dealt some real good damages to Phoenix. Maybe, guys, he is having a different voice. I don't know why. But let's see, let's just forget about that thing. Let's go back to bootcamp where we are having some real intense fight happening over here. ETN versus I8, the previous match's winner. They are actually going to take a fight over here as well. No, GSM that is. GSM might be taking the fight once again. And Hora, they are also getting eliminated one by one. I see with the opening knockout and action. He has taken another one. GSM virus taking the knockout from T2K once again. No fear, he has been taken down and already t2k there uh sorry my bad they are on the verge of being taken down right now uh the last couple of guys they need to pull a clutch but no that was not the case hora esports maybe they have been eliminated from this fight once again and already etn versus drs that is going to happen over here sleepy with the first knockout right now he's also getting hammered down 1v1 happening against as gante gante was the guy who was able to get another elimination but no sorry he was the he was the guy who didn't get any eliminations the remaining guys they also got some very good ones one kill from sleepy one kill from xmpl and killer yt he was taking two eliminations t2k they're not really lucky as well they are also losing some of their players definitely drs came in they have secured total four elements in points at the earlier stage there is gaming. Uh, the fight was really amazing at Xiaomi. They will try their best. And from this location, however, the first circle is, they can rotate into the circle very well. The plans are very perfect. The plans are very picture perfect. Uh, the, since uh, 2019, you can see a lot of uh, changes was coming up from their side, but the performance was top notch all the time. We can see FSA Esports are trying uh, to take fight against. 2k esports player 2 secured one knock and uh, genesis esports a lot of players are, are getting knocked out and uh, t2k esports igneous he was fully eliminated four kills have been secured by fsa esports a very good comeback from the side of fsa esports and t2k esports they are not having a very good time stalwart esports secured total uh, four elimination points i guess if i'm not wrong genesis esports they are eliminated Okay, once again, after taking the first four elimination, after losing GSM Vida, still they're trying to survive on this fight. And let's see if they can get some more good points from here. Once again, uh, Agonix IA, they're here in front of us. They have to fight against Devoin Esports. Let's see Crypto if he can clutch it out like his teammate Falak did on the previous game. Falak was outstanding with those grenades the first couple of fights. And let's see if he can clutch it out once again. Already Zeta, he's getting ready with the grenade. Maybe it would be really problematic for Crypto, but somehow he was able to survive from that. And one more Molly will fly by. That will really cause some problems. Once again, we are back here against uh, FSXO. And FSXO, maybe they actually uh, have some more enemies in front of them. So they need to be a little bit more careful. Once again, 
ASAG Crypto, Falak and IQ. They need to move away because otherwise GSM will go for the third party. Crypto, he was taken down finally and Maxius with opening now for maybe they will try to go for the confirmation and yes, Zeta confirms the elimination point. At the same time, IQ dealt another important knockout and let's see if he can clutch it out over here just like his teammates did on the first match. Obviously, Vani Sports, they will definitely try to sneak uh, through the defense shield of Gremlin Storm. ASAG I8, the previous match was really great, but this uh, defense will not be very easy as two teams are taking the uh, trying to take the advantage. Four medical vibes, they're also trying to get some kills. STR West, he is taken down by player two. So, Vani Sports have secured total uh, five kills, I guess, if I'm not wrong. A lot of fights is happening from their side. 30 teams only surviving. And uh, this match's acceleration is uh, more than before, more than the first and second match. Hopeless, he is completely wiped out. And uh, player two, he is looking for the player of Stall right Esports right now. Stall Esports play. Uh, let's see, Spike will be spotted or not. I, I guess Spike. Uh, is sacrificed already. The location of Spike is sacrificed already. Player 2, he has the perfect information about Spike 2, but he needs the assistance of Player 1 as well. Player 1 and Player 2, they will try to get the kill, but Player 2 is taken down. Good knock coming up from Spike. 1v1 from the side of Player 04. Player 04 versus Spike. Both have a shotgun in their hand. Molotov is coming up. And uh, the locations are restricted because of that Molotov. Um, he cannot move towards a lot of locations right now. Stun grenade. One more stun grenade is coming up. And that was a trap. And that was a trap. Brilliantly executed by STR Spike. Brilliantly clutched by him. 1v2 coming up from 4 medical 5 Esports. And 4 kills have been secured. But the problem is all of the players are not surviving. Spike is the only player. Obviously, they have taken too much of a toll from this fight, and unfortunately, only Spike is the remaining guy from this stronger esports lineup. They have uh, the remaining guys who are actually just waiting to see if, to, uh, uh, if Spike can get a clutch or not. But still, Spike needs to stay alive till the end. He needs to loot it out, and maybe if he tries to stay uh, stay alive for a little while, he needs to get some more uh, smokes and maybe some first aid kits will do the trick. Let's see if that is going to be the case or not. Right now, once again, Mad Machine and the remaining guys, they're actually moving in. And already, they have taken a very good knockouts against IQ. Falak will be the final once again. But GSM Mad Machine and the remaining guys, they need to be careful. Because otherwise, it might be a little bit of a trouble. Because of, once again, Falak, they're helping back strongly. And Falak will try to go for the confirmation. But no, he was not really lucky. Ratata HRX, that was a good one. And finally, Gremlin Storm, they have taken two points from the beginning of this Sino game. Maybe this will be... a uh, Table Turner map for the squad and I hope they'll be able to take some good knockouts against Devoin Esports as well. Once again, they are on the outside of the circle. They need to move in quickly and already, as you guys have already seen, they're almost 800 meters away from the circle. This is going to be a really confusing circle because we are not too sure which side that circle will end up at. This might be a bootcamp circle. The circle might go for the northern shift. It can be a southern circle, a circle as well. But one team which will have no problems at all is none other than BTR. They're on the extreme center of the circle. BTR, they're holding the final region. And if they can go for it, maybe they can take both the, uh, both the Leo Esports and IHC. They can get the confirmation from both sides. Obviously, and uh, Revive will be coming up from FS Exo Esports. They are back with the three-man roster on once again. Ten players are surviving FS Exo Esports. They are not inside the circle. They have to keep that in mind. They will try to get to the circle as soon as possible. In Sanok, Zone will decide a lot of things. Zone will di dictate a lot of things. If you get the uh, control of the circle, that can be assure you about and um, we don't want to check in a bigger chunk. They're taking Damage from Nirzad. Nirzad, uh, a brilliant knock uh, definitely coming up from his side. And uh, Leo Esports hide them. He was taken down. Bigger Chan, they are retaliating. But the problem is, three teams are fight, fighting against each other. 
obviously still we have 10 teams and 35 overall players who are actually surviving on this fight definitely tsb has a lot of things to prove on this fight let's see if they can find out players from falcon esports csa already action he's just waiting over here but that can be a surprising one but action he missed it he missed the chance completely needs it with opening knockout rb and insane both the guys were knocked out from this fight i see confirmation once again but action that was a bad miss this is like a very rare scene to watch hardly this guy misses sometimes but this is one of those rare cases once again action let's see if he can get some more knockouts from this position i see in the remaining guys they, they need to be careful uh cook him he's also cooking a grenade let's see if he can use the grenade perfectly no that might be in that might not be the case because already uh i see he's falling back a little already action and the remaining guys they are coming back strongly once again tsb devil and yes he was also taken down and once again tsb they are on the verge of extinction once again this guy i see he needs to come up once uh the uh, one back into the fight but needs it he's also getting ready for the elimination once again yes he has confirmed the kill and already tsb they have been eliminated without any sort of elimination or whatsoever two squads has been eliminated by this uh falcon esports lineup but right now they're still here with three members alive and exactly and i eat esports right now they will try to get some kills uh kills are not enough uh just one kills have been secured eight points in their head uh, in their hand they did not touch the double digit mark yet after two match they're the world champion they're, they're the defending world champion and still uh they are struggling Definitely, they will not show their original strategy in this tournament, uh, which they would be following in the upcoming PMSL LAN event. But definitely, they will try to perform in this tournament as well, uh, just like DRS Gaming, uh, Regicide, IE, they are trying. Bigotron uh, in G right now, just look at the split. Leon, he is taking a lot of risk. Voxy, Hans. Uh, they they are holding the compound area, but Leon is in a very 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 risky position. He needs to be very careful if he is knocked down and if he is eliminated. And afterwards, if the circle is coming towards the outside area of Pinan, then the rotation will be very very difficult. So that's why he needs to survive. He does not uh, take. Uh, uh, he should not take any risk. He doesn't need any kill point. He just need to survive. He just need to. Hold there, he just need to sustain their DRS gaming, XMP of kill, killer YT. They have to sacrifice one of the teammates, Giante. He is already bleeding out and uh, he will be eliminated soon. Basically, right now, let's go back to killer YT once again. After taking the three first, uh, th three elimination from the side of DRS, he is actually willing to get some more. But once again, one player has been taken down already. Jam Claus, he is in front of us once again. Leo versus ihc might be a fight and that was a good finish from godless as well with a shorty that was a good one and after taking the second elimination for the squad right now they need to loot they need to survive till the end zeol and godless they need to pull the clutch they need to turn this table around into their favor but still anything can happen we have to watch it out right now we are here once again looking at zygote from btrng they might spot out some players from Falcon CSA. That might be a thing. That might be a possibility. Maybe Nizet, maybe someone else. But 99%, they are also like in a very risky position. And maybe, maybe Zygote can spot these those guys out as well. But the remaining guys, Hans, he needs to be careful. He's the first one who will actually spot the players from this uh, 99 esports lineup. But once again, Voin Maxias, he's still waiting on the edge of the circle. But once again, IHC were failed to spot those guys jace 88 he's here as well but he's not really showing any sort of movement anything at all the first drop that was taken by leon let's see once again another drop was taken by fs exokin maybe those two drops were not taken simultaneously but the information it is actually coming up on our screen right now once again zeta and maxius they need to move inside they can't afford to wait over here on the edge of the circle because they have a very little first aid item first aid kit to work with Obviously, right now, Voyne Esports, they're waiting for the circle shift once again. And uh, eight teams are surviving. They need to get inside the circle. Not a 
lot of distance to be covered by them 193 but they need to be very careful about the other teams that can be camped around the stones and that can be camped around the ridges of the other side and that's why the funny sports are trying to move edge to edge cover to cover as as soon as possible they will try to hold the circle Maxius is taking the most amount of risk as he is moving at the front line. Falcon is posed. They are already inside Pinan. Pinan, that is uh, already getting the edge of the circle. So after this circle, we, maybe fifth circle will not be supporting Pinan. But for uh, until that circle shift, Falcon Esports, Falcon CSA, they will try to hold Pinan. Right now, Leon Park, he's just waiting over here. And maybe some guys from the other uh, teams will get spotted from his side in a little while. On the other hand, Falcon CSA, they're still holding the Pinan's edge over here. GSM is really cramped out over here, uh, waiting over here on a single building. So let's see what will happen to the squad or not. Once again, owner Dan, he's moving with the vehicle. And that was a bait movement, but BTR Hans just fell onto that bait and he was taking some real good damages let's see if he can survive till the end or not once again zioli is in front of us and already he has spotted another guy on that sniper tower so let's see if they can get some more confirmations already killer white he has also spotted zioli so two players right now sharing the fight among themselves let's see who wins from here once again godless he is right now knocked out so somehow zeol if he can go back to his teammate and revive him that will really boost his chance quite a bit but zeol i don't think he'll be that lucky or not he's having a very little hp to deal with and yes once again he is back on this building and right now zeol he is just like trying to survive on this fight somehow killer yt is not really spotted and not really taking any big damages from him whatsoever. Obviously, I see sports, uh, they are trying to heal up and they will try to take some kills from now on. Zio moving once again, Falcon Esports uh, taking damage from Bigatron. Bigatron total three kills have been secured from their side. Zio, he needs to be safe. One esports trying to get the knock and one player has been dodged already but Zio, he is not safe yet. The way he is going towards that is very risky and Zio is eliminated in that process. We are down to six teams right now. IEC was fully eliminated. No information was collected. No information was possible to collect. So that's why he, they were eliminated. That was a blind rotation from their side. Just look at DRS Killer YT. He is still surviving alone. Boyan, Esports, Zeta, and Maxi are still holding the inside portion of the circle. Here is Killer White, he Killer White he needs to be very, very careful. Falcon CSA, right now they need to wipe out Bigatron. And the Bigatron, they are always trying to take the charge of this fight. Obviously, Falcon, right now they need to move in quickly, otherwise, action will be taken down. And finally, that was his demise action. And top, both the guys have been eliminated from this fight, but still, Nizir is showing no signs of stopping whatsoever. That was a very intense knockout from his side. And let's see if we can get some more confirmation from this uh, Molly and grenades. And yes, another Molly was thrown from his side, but once again, Nizir needs to fight it out against this guy from BTR. Hans and the remaining guys will get spotted even once again btr is coming for the revival process but right now he doesn't have too much room to work with leon punk with another knockout and that was none other than icy but icy right now he is inside the building maybe so that will really create another chance for them to get a revive so let's see if that will be the case or not falcon nizet is finally going for the revive once again and after the revival process is getting completed they'll be able to survive on this fight with their two remaining players Falcon CSS still there on a vulnerable position, but still, once again, uh, if we talk about team Bigatron, Bigatron is not really showing themselves, not really showing their position at all, but still, they need to play this smart. Obviously, they will try to play, uh, try to, they will try to play a little bit smarter. Kills have been secured. I see his HP is not in a very good touch. Zone will be touching him anytime as possible. 99% e posts that are eliminated. We can see Bigatron, they're in a huge trouble. That was a very good flick coming up from IC. Falcon CSA, one good shot will be coming up from uh, Falcon CSA. And a uh, total 14 eliminations have been secured by them. 
Right now, we're down to top 14 teams right now. What a match for Falcon. And uh, in this match, they have taken a lot of kills. The first match, the second match was not that good. But at the third match, the table turning map, Sandhawk, that was a dreamlike performance from Storm Falcon Esports. You can see Gremlin Storm and Vaughn Esports. They are surviving with their full roster. Vaughn Esports, they are getting a very good control over the circle. Chicken dinner can be possible. They just need to avoid the mistakes. Obviously, Zeta7, maybe he will try to spot the players from GSM, but right now GSM is not really willing to show any sort of position or anything whatsoever. They're just waiting over there, but Maxias, he's also just pruning himself. Right now, he doesn't want to get involved in any sort of fight whatsoever. Right now, they're trying to survive with all their players. That is the main goal of these two lineups, GSM and Point. Yes, both the teams are having the same strategies. But DRS and Falcon, right now they have some chances to get elimination points and that is the only thing that they are actually willing to get. Let's see if they are successful on this fight or not. Mummy Blue, he's over here but once again with a grenade. Nirzed was totally eliminated. Sorry, not with a grenade. Mad Machine was the guy who got those elimination points. Falcon CSA, they have been eliminated after taking 14 kills. Once again, Ratata HRX with a good one, good start. But once again, his team at Mad Machine was also taken down. Ratata HRX needs to stay behind those covers. Covers will definitely prove his uh, like chances to be a little bit more uh, compared to right now. His position, uh, right now his position is a little bit more, uh, I guess, exposed already. The guys knows uh, like he's staying behind the covers. So he needs to move inside quickly right now. Once again, Ratata HRX getting ready with another grenade. But I guess Ratata, he will not have the chance to survive on this fight. Maxius was in a very off angle. And yes, with that flank, Maxius was able to get the knockout. Obviously, he was able to get that knockout. Dictator, he is uh, taken down by Maxius. Another very good uh, knock coming up from his side. Knockout was trying to spot the enemies of Voin Esports, but with the visual, without the visual skill, Voin Esports secured another win over Chicken Dinner. That was a very good show from Voin Esports. That was a very good run for, for from Voin Esports. She Gremlin Storm, they also tried their best, but Voin at match three, they secured their first win over Chicken Dinner of season 10. Right now, we can see the MVP most valuable player from this match it is definitely Icy with total 5 eliminations and 970 damage. Obviously, Icy he was outstanding. He was taking all the close range fights and he was successful in every like cases. So, he was doing great. Let's see if he can get some more on the next couple of fights. Let's see that will be the case. But MVP Icy will have five kills but what is actually happening to the rest of his teammates so that is the thing i want to see in a little bit maybe that will come up on our screens once again we have voin falcon drs and gsm right now they are the first of four teams who has secured the most amount of points from this match obviously most amount of points they are trying to get uh, the points and in top four, we can see Falcon, Vaughn, DRS, and Gremlin Storm. DRS, they did not use any utilities. No grenade, no smokes. But uh, they, they used uh, Molotov as the utility. So that was the minimum amount of utility used by a team. In top four, Vaughn Esports secured total 18 elimination points. 18 same elimination points are coming from... Falcon Esports and uh, DRS Gaming secured 12 elevation points. Kremlin Storm 11 elevation points. So very good performance from their side. Bigger John secured 7 elevation points. They are also trying to maintain the consistency. For Exo Esports, the starting was really good, but uh, the middle part of the game, they just lost the momentum. Solid Esports, they secured 6 elevation points. 4 MV 7th. And we can see IHC with total 3 total points. Mm -hmm. Obviously, yet again, three squads with zero points. That is really unfortunate. They were not able to turn the table towards their side. And let's see if they are actually getting lucky on the next one. I hope they will be able to come back strongly. But viewers, right now, we are getting ready for the next game. So, as you guys all have seen, we have seen some great matchups. And I hope you guys have already enjoyed these matches. I hope 
this match ranking will really like help you out to calculate the informations but once again there is no calculation needed for killer yt as he's already taking the first position as the mvp overall in this uh event already he was the mvp on the last season and yes he yet again he is proving himself on this season as well and then after that we have via uh, avoid maxis even though he has higher amount of kills but he has a uh, little bit less damage so that's why killer yt is still staying on top then after that we have Leon Pange, the remaining guys, but Voin Esports finally they are, they are dethroning DRS Gaming with one point more compared to DRS. They are holding the first position. DRS Gaming right now they are at second. Then after that we have Falcon, we have Bigatron, we have Regicide Esports and Stalwart. Finally they are climbing on the ladder once again. Again excited, they are going to lose some of their uh, positions. For uh, one game was really good from their end, but the remaining two was not really uh, showing too much of a chance. Then T2K Esports is here with us. With 16 points, then after that, we have 99% esports with 15 points. Yeah. 99% esports, 15 points. And at the second page, we can see ETN esports gaming with 15 points as well. We can see Kremlin Storm 12 total points have been secured. The Sandhawk match was really good, but the first and second match was not up to the expectation. And I, it's esports secret total 10 admission, 10 total points, and nine of those 10 points was secured from elimination points only. They are lacking in the elimin uh, placement points, so they need to focus on that. TSB Sports 13th, 14th position, you can see FSX Sports, Lady Sports 15th, 4 MV Hora Genesis. They are following the ladder from the bottom side. Obviously, guys, right now we are actually getting ready for the fourth match. So if you haven't subscribed already, please feel free to do subscribe. And if you like our casting as well, please do follow on Time Burner Gaming and Pink Super Gaming as well. We are getting ready for the next match. And right now we are taking a very short break. After the break, we'll come back once again. So don't go anywhere.
Hello everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back to NBL Pro Stream Season 10. Right now we are getting ready for the match number 4 of Day 1. I hope you guys are enjoying the first couple of matches. Getting ready for some intense battle which will happen on the next set of 2 matches. I hope you guys will really enjoy. Phoenix Hope is here with us as well and the match will start in a little bit. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, we are just waiting for another match and NBL Season 10 NBL Pro Scrims is organized by Normies Esports. Thanks to Normies Esports for organizing this kind of competitive scene. Uh, just uh, a few days ago, we were watching Season 9. And uh, every month, every new season, they are coming up with uh, new surprises. This lobby is just like the Central South Asia PMSL PUBG Mobile Super League LAN event like lobby uh, right now. Let's focus on the flight path. The flight path is starting from the George Bull side and going straight towards the Pofka. Obviously, guys, get ready for some intense battle which will occur on the George Bull northern and southern sides. All the players are getting ready for some intense actions. We have seen some great fight which did happen on the first game. So it will occur on the next match even. So that is the chance. That is the hope we are having right now. Players are getting ready to fight in, I guess, uh, Rozok as well. We have seen the previous match and already stalwart. They had wiped out Genesis Esports on like within one or two minutes. On the first couple of uh, minutes, the team was wiped out. So definitely uh, right now, Genesis Esports has a lot of things to prove. They will be able to perform even better on the upcoming ones. So that is the thing we have in our minds. Right now, T2K Esports, they are the solo players, solo team who was actually waiting on the edge of 70. They will have a good time to loot in. But once again, Voin, they are here as well. Voin Esports, they had a pretty good run of the previous game, but not so much on this match. After taking two eliminations, still they have to revive their knocked out teammate. Maybe that could be a problematic scenario as we have some more players in front of us. Voin versus Stronger, that might be a thing. And Stronger Hopeless, yes, he is trying to confirm the skill. And already Spike Hopeless, they are the two survivors. West and Sirius, they have been eliminated. Obviously, they have been eliminated. This is the second time they are taking part against each other in the Ochinki area right now. One more team is eliminated. And that is Voin Esports, the successful team of the previous match. And Voin Esports, uh, problem with the consistency will definitely... Uh, they will keep that in mind right now we are watching another pro fight i8 c esports versus i8 and southern southern georgia Pole city that will be the concern of both of the teams another knock coming up from them and right now i8 c they will try to retaliate they will try to engage once again and from the staircase alex he is just pushing forward that was an aggressive movement from IAC Sports and they secured the drop locations with their full on aggression and they have secured total 2 elemental points as well. DRS Gaming taking fight in Milta right now. DRS Gaming, Killer Whitey is fully wiped out. Obviously, Killer was the guy who has a little bit of a trouble to work with. Right now, we have the remaining players from BTR and who are actually willing to take some more kills against. DRS Esports. Once again, Gayante, XMPL, they're still holding on that position, but right now they're not in a very good position to work around. But the problem is BTR Boxy and the remaining guys has already uh, surrounded the players. Gayante doesn't know what to do right now. He's in a very, very, very troublesome position right now. He needs to work it out and he needs to move away so that they have some more time to work with. Right now, XMPL, he doesn't know about the enemy's position. That's why. Uh, nevertheless, he's not showing any signs of movement. Any sort of movement is not happening from his side or the side of DRS at all. Obviously, and Milta, that is uh, a very, very interesting drop locations. Biggest Sean and DRS, they are both from different uh, regions. So that's why they don't, uh, they will not agree to stay away from this drop clash both team will try their best and that was very very lucky gante was very lucky the grant was uh, really brutal but he was not knocked out he survived uh, somehow with a few hp left and right now he secured a, a brilliant brilliant knock with his granite action xmpl jiggle fight is coming but after switching the gun 
he was not able to survive and PTR Bigot Sean they are just surviving uh, with their three player available right now if his exit is forged they secure total one elevation points right now we can see Amir Bhav he's taking damage from a long long distance fast snake secured that knock Exo teaser. He is trying to confirm Vaznok. He's trying to spot Vaznok, but Vas Vaznake. He is very very cautious about that. Obviously, GSM, a virus, and the remaining players from FSX. So they need to be a little bit more on their toes. Otherwise, they will get back into some more troublesome areas. Right now, Noki. He's just waiting over here. But Amir. He's in a very uh, dire situation. He needs to get revived ASAP. But the problem is, FSX Amir Bhau and the remaining guys, they don't have any sort of vehicle to work with. If I, if they had the vehicles, uh, maybe that would have been a good one. But without the vehicle support, it will be really a little too much problematic thing from my end, as I can see right now. Already, Vaz was spotted once again. Vaz Snake was spotted from the side of FSX. So, but still. Like, he's not stopping in a single position right now. He's not stationary at all. So, that's why there is no knockouts, nothing, no damage is coming up from the side of FSX at all. They don't have the, uh, like, usual drop location to work with. Right now, they're on a different drop from their actual drop. So, let's see. It will be a little bit problematic, but still not impossible from their side. They have been proving uh, some good pro uh, points from their side uh, in, uh, like, last couple of tournaments. Uh, let's see if they can do it on this day as well. Definitely, they will try their best to regicide esports. They are trying to spot the enemies who were taking fight previously. Regicide esports, they are very smart about that. Noki goes, they are not playing with their full roster. That is a very big problem. And we have seen I8, they were not playing with their full roster as well. I don't know what is the problem, but if you, uh, if you are not playing with the full roster, then uh, the flexibility, the options are definitely limited. So, uh, you will, uh, every team, they should try to play with the full roster. Right now, we can see Vasnik. Uh, he's trying to knock out the player named Knockout from Kremlin, Kremlin Storm. Dictator, Knockout. They are still holding that place. Obviously, guys, right now, still, we have Regicide over here. But GSM, Knockout, and Dictator, they're still, uh, pose, uh, like, spotted from the side of Vaz. But Vaz was not really able to get a knockout from that side. Still, Noki and the remaining guys, they need to push it out. But still, we have FSXO, uh, who were trying to get some good points from here. But right now, FSXO, still, with three players, they're doing some good damages overall. We're going back to Ghost once again. But Jan Mara Claw, who's actually playing for the uh leo esports lineup let's see they're willing to get some more fights from here once again we're looking at vast snake and the remaining guys mad machine who was knocked out finally they started with three men but doesn't matter they're actually getting some good elimination points and three kills were taken like within a matter of seconds Falcon CSA, they are knocked out. Uh, IC is knocked out. Top is the last guy surviving. He will definitely push forward. Arag is the best defense. That is the final strategy from his side. JM Claw is the last player surviving from Leo Esports. Claw, he is taking some damage. He's receiving some damage. Top, he's committing fully against the player. But right now, that will be very difficult for him. Claw, another grenade will be coming up uh, for him. Noki is taken down by FS Exokin. Obviously, guys, this position is not really going well for Falcon CSA. Top is the final player for the squad, but still, he's in a very tough position to work with. Right now, IC needs to get revived as soon as he can, but I don't think that will be the case because Claw just used another molly, and that was the demise of IC. Once again, Falcon is surviving with just one player, but finally, Top with a clutch. That was a good one. Top and IC, they were able to finish all those enemy players, but the thing is, Right now, Top is all alone. Top needs to play this smartly. Otherwise, he'll be able to get some, like, one or two elimination, but not really a good position, not really a good amount of elimination will come from their side. They need to be a little bit more cautious. They ne need to be a little bit more stealthily so that they can survive till the end. If it's actually Teaser and the remaining guys, they're here as well. But Teaser will be the final player. Already, Virus, Skin, and Amir, they have been eliminated from this fight. Vaz Snake will take another one, and Regicide, they have taken some good eliminations. Vaz, as he's solo, 
he needs to play the smart as well gsm dictator and uh, the remaining guys from gremlin storm will still try to wait over here dictator may have already spotted the enemy player but still he's not willing to give out dish out too many of the damages obviously due to esports they are taking the damage blue zone damage and that is uh, very very problematic for them jane trying to get a knock with the grenade i eat c zero he will be joining with his team the force has been stronger than before a brilliant grenade coming up from zane but that will not be enough for him and t2k esports are fully eliminated with a zero point from this match the last jungle match of day one is not very pleasant at all for t2k esports hora esports they are also taking a uh, long amount of a vast amount of zone damage everyone is trying to take the fight they are not prioritizing the zone they will try to get inside the circle after finishing the fight obviously guys let's go back over here once again we are looking at all our players for miracle vibes right now they are here with the stronger esports lineup they are actually participating on this match and once again we have TSB in front of us after taking the first elimination point they are actually willing to get some more and let's see if Leon Punk will get spotted or not Leon Punk was spotted his vehicle is taking a lot of damage but this guy somehow he is trying to get away and he was not really like getting into most of the troublesome scenes he's just moving away and right now this circle is definitely supporting the Fairy region. regions so no matter what BTN needs to come in quickly and maybe they will go for a different movement maybe they can go for the northern side rotation that will create some more chances for them to survive maybe etn versus ptr then that will be a thing to watch stronger uh, story my bad stalwart esports has been eliminated and hora has confirmed three eliminations so they are actually doing great on the first couple of fights yes they are uh, take trying to take the control and right now three elimination points have been secured by Hora Esports no fear he will also try to get some kills from this fight Bigatron they're already at the back foot trying to distract with the vehicle and uh, right now Hora Esports they are also in a very big problem but uh, as the manpower is heavier on the side of Hora Esports so that's why they will Definitely finish the fight with a positive note. Six kills have been secured already. Falcon Esports, they uh, top. He's just chilling. He's a solo player. He's just chilling on that compound. He's just practicing his uh, uh, peaking ability. He is just uh, trying to uh, keep his hand warm so that if someone is pushing towards him, can uh, take fights very fast. He can take fight. Uh, very very agile in a very agile way TSB esports they are trying to play very smartly one kills have been secured but uh, they need to play until the last circle if they want to climb up obviously top he's just waiting over here he doesn't want to get involved in any sort of fight whatsoever right now he's in top eight but his target will be i guess at least till top three so we just have to wait for a little while. Stronger esports, they're in front of us as well right now. They will take a fight against TSB. TSB versus Stronger, that might be a thing. And maybe some third parties will arise from the other squad as well. Right now, we have to wait a little while. Once again, Insane71, he has spotted the vehicle. But somehow, Hora Esports still trying to manage and still trying to hold from this position. Messi Hora, he's in front of us and no fear. And the uh, remaining guys, they're here. Uh, definitely, I'm missing out Mafia Ninja over here, but I don't know if Mafia Ninja has renamed to Messi. Uh, maybe that can be a thing. If definitely, uh, the audiences will be able to give us some more. Yo, Marcel or Messi? That. Maybe, maybe that is Messi because we have the same outfit. That is the signature outfit of Mafia Ninja. So maybe he's the guy we are talking about. Malikora and the remaining guys, they are still trying to survive over here. But TSB right now, they are not really lucky because already Mafia Ninja and the remaining guys, they are going in and. Malik Hora is trying to confirm all these elimination points. A lot of legendary footballers are joining in Nepali team. So we, we have already seen Marcelo playing in Season 9. And in Season 10, we can see Messi joining Hora Esports. Just look at that. Hora Esports, they're struggling right now. No fear. And uh, no fear, he will try to survive as much time as possible. Malik Hora, he's already eliminated by... Uh, Alex and right now Zio he is trying to get a knock against TSB Sports Kokem. Kokem is knocked out already. 
RB he will try his best to use properly those smokes in the deep. Uh, definitely he will try to revive Devil. But IEC Esports, they are not letting them uh, doing that rescue mission completed. Just look at RB. RB is very, very confused right now because of the positioning of IET Esports. Everyone is uh, just rotating with the vehicle. Just, just, they're just distracting. And in 71, he's eliminated with the process. And that's how IET Esports, they just entered inside top 7. 12 kills have been secured already. It's the 12 kills from IHC. They're showing who's the boss over here and they're actually getting a lot more points, but already top he was over here as well. Movie top has spotted the guys. Uh, Alex was, I guess, spotted, but once again, top is not showing any sort of any movements. Any sort of movements will be a little bit problematic from his side. That's why he's just getting back into the fight. Once again, let's go back to Alex after securing six elimination. They will try to get some more, let's see. But one thing I was thinking on my mind is, Maybe DRS Sleepy shouldn't have changed his name. Then we'll be able to see Messi versus Marcelo once again. As a big football fan, I'm definitely missing out these two guys on the scene. Once again, if the same thing occurs on this PUBG Mobile side, that will definitely like be, be really interesting. Once again, IHC still holding their positions. They need to clutch it out again stronger and also 99%. They might also get spotted. JP9 and the remaining guys, they need to move inside. Once again, Roger OP, he's just moving with the vehicle, but hopeless he was unable unable to get uh, any sort of big damages or whatever. Okay, so right now, STR, they are playing in the slot of four vehicle vibes from the first match. Right now, we can see 99% esports. Roger OP, he is surviving with just dot HP. One bullet will be enough to take him down. But that's why he was trying to get the cover and Grenade will be coming up for uh, 99 Esports, JP9, JP9 he's also moving forward but that place is not safe at all, IHC they will try to take the advantage of that rotation as well. Stronger Hopeless is still trying to find out some more enemy players but still nothing is happening from his side at all, Spike he's just moving in but once again uh, 99 esports they're actually moving away right now they don't get uh, any sort of damage they will not get in into any sort of fights or whatsoever but 99 esports versus stronger still it will be a little bit of a dilemma for both the squads if this fight gets a little bit more prolonged because the zone is coming in really hot and already as you guys have seen this circle is definitely supporting the fairy pair regions and if both the teams get outside of the circle then it will be a little bit of a problematic thing for the sides. Once again, uh, let's go back to Alex. Once again, Alex is trying to find out the players from Stronger, Spike or Hopeless. Both the guys might get spotted, but still they need to be a little bit more careful. Falcon Esports, Top not spotted yet, but Alex doesn't know about the position of Top. Maybe he will get a surprise attack from him. And yes, that is the thing we are looking at right now. Top, he was he was just waiting over here, and that was a very good knockout from his side. But what is uh, happening to the remaining players? Top, okay, he's getting back with the pan, and he will be panned to death. Top, who just oh away? See all, he just stopped, but from nowhere. Oh my top, god, what top is with the rescue? Oh my god, what is happening, bro? What is happening here right now? One versus one. Top, he was unstoppable, but Zeal stopped that uh, Falcon team uh, dominance. Top is eliminated right now. What we just saw out there. Oh my goodness. Right now, top five teams are surviving. And I8 already secured total 16 elimination points. Now we can see total four teams are surviving. EDM Esports Gaming. They are also eliminated from this fight. I eight Rock. They are just trying to spot the enemies of STR Esports who are playing for four vehicle vibes. Rock. He needs to reposition as soon as possible as the circle is not supporting uh, them at all. At the sixth circle, they will try to move inside the circle a little bit more. Let's see whether I eight Esports can secure a twenty kills chicken dinner or not. Let's see, we are down to the top four teams, but none of this squad is actually having a full roster. So we have some very little players from each and every squad. GSM with only one player, 99 with two, same as four Metal Vibes and IHC. Let's see who will take the first couple of knockouts and first of first of some uh, elimination will come up or not. Once again, Spike, he was spotted from Zeol. 
but unfortunately he was not able to do any sort of damage sort whatsoever. Zeal is just waiting over here, but still we have one player. Knockout 70, he's just trying to survive over here, but knockout. Will he get spotted? That is the thing I have in my mind. Already his vehicle was spotted from Zeal, but Zeal and Rogue, I guess they are actually going for a different movement. Knockout 70, he was spotted already, but knockout and his teammates don't know if they will be able to survive for here uh, for a long time or not. And yes. Rogue has gone from the elimination. Knockout 70 has been eliminated. GSM right now, they have finished this fight on the third position. Right now, last fight is beginning right now. Three teams are surviving and all of the teams are surviving with the similar number of player support. You can see 99 Esports for Michael Vibes and I, 8C, two teams from Mongolia and 99 Esports. They are just maintaining their consistency. Just look at that. At the previous match, we we saw that 99 Esports, they were surviving, uh, but the problem is they were not able to secure a lot of uh, elimination points. Obviously, right now we are down to the top three teams. Once again, two versus two versus two. Uh, uh, right now it's happening. And once again, Spike needs to move in. And let's see if Spike or Hopeless can do some good damages, if they can dish out some good damages. That will really boost the chance of them to survive. On the end, we are looking at Hopeless. He's just waiting over here with the vehicle. But without the next zone's movement, they can't move uh, in front. Already, right now, the next circle is in front of us. And uh, Spike, right now, he's on, uh, on the inside of the circle. But the remaining player is really outside of the circle. Once again, Zeol with a, another knock uh, against 99 Esports. Maybe the confirmation will come in. And yes, see, that was the confirmation with the grenade. IHC has confirmed another one, but still one more player from 99% esports is still trying to survive. Hopeless will be causing a lot of trouble for the other player as Hopeless, he is holding the high ground and he can spot anyone that is from that location. He can guide Spike, he can guide Spike where to shot, uh, where to land the shot. Right now, IHC esports, they are trying to get another kill, but in the process, Rogue was taken down. IHC, they are taking fight directly against 99 esports and just look at Hopeless. He sacrificed his high angle but uh secure definitely the control of the circle they are the only team who are holding the circle and just look at them they are just holding the edge of the circle where 99 esports and iet are taking fight whoever will be coming towards the circle they will definitely definitely taking the shots from str esports or for Miracle 5's esports. 99 esports, Belmont, he's the last player surviving. Spike, he is hungry to get another kill. And with that spray, they secured the winner with chicken dinner. Whatever you say, STR or for Miracle 5, they have just secured a beautiful winner with a chicken dinner. Now we'll be taking a short little break. After that break, we'll be coming up with the detail of this match.
Okay, hello everyone. We're back once again. Right now, you guys are watching NBL T1 Pro Screams Season 10. We are here with Phoenix OBN right now getting ready for the final game. And before that, we need to show you some more information. And that is none other than Four Miracle Vibes or Stronger Esports, whichever you say has taken the chicken dinner from the fourth game. This, uh, uh, we have seen like this is the fourth chicken from match number 20, like four out of 20. But we have like four out of ten, maybe. This is a two-day event, right? Dawai. So we need to fix that. Right now, IHC Ziol is the MVP because he has seven elimination and 983 overall damages, one assist, 509 overall healing, and total uh, longest elimination distance was 291 meters from his side. So great start overall from IHC once again. Let's see if they have what it takes to take the fight on the next level against Falcon Esports on the next game. advantage of the circle and that's why they just lost the winner when a chicken dinner otherwise maybe four or five points more could have been added towards the point tally of IHC sports but uh, all together that was a very good match of IHC for MV aka STR they played really well 23 points for IHC sports for MV total 16 points have been secured by them 99 Percent esports, they are putting their hundred percent, and that's how they uh, secure total 10, 10 points. Right now, you can see Falcon and Pora inside top five, Gremlin Storm secured total six points, and they're good match for them. R3G sev uh, seventh position, six points. Obviously, but we need to check out the rest of the teams as well. And right now, within a little bit of time, we will have their information on our screen as well. Viewers, you've already seen some great matchups against all these players who are actually participating. But what will happen to the last of the teams, T2K, DRS, and I8? DRS and I8, already they have taken a chicken dinner from the first couple of games. But right now... On this angle match, they were like going away with empty hands. They didn't get a single point. That was really unfortunate. So let's see if they have what it takes to take another chicken dinner on the next couple of matches. Right now, we're getting back once again with Miramar. And I hope you guys are really enjoying these matches. Right now, we have the like remaining couple of information, which will come in a little bit. And I guess one more important information is remaining. That is the overall point table. Where are all these teams waiting at? So we have to wait and watch those things as well. Already MVP ranking is here with us. Zeol finally he is taking the first spot against Killer YT. Still Killer YT is in the second. So maybe if he can get some good points on the last game. He will be able to jump back into the first spot once again. We have BTR, Leon Punk, Voin, Maxius and 99 Esports, Belmont. They are here. So... We have a very good diversified MVP ranking over here. The season 9 was totally claimed by DRS and uh, the remaining squads was not having that much of a lucky uh, strike. But still, in this season 10, we have each and every team who is actually participating really well. Right now, the overall standings is here with us. And Genesis Esports, they have just received two points. That's, that is really unfortunate from their end. Obviously, and uh, after four match, uh, that was the over overall ranking. Right now, we'll be taking another break. After the break, we'll be back with the last match of day one.
Okay, hello everyone. We're back once again. Right now, you guys are watching NBL Pro Stream Season 10, and we are here with the last game of the day. I hope you guys are really enjoying. If you did, then definitely do subscribe on this YouTube channel. Do subscribe to NRM YouTube channel for the upcoming updates and upcoming events, and definitely do like on this stream. If you like our castings as well, please do subscribe on our socials as well so that we will be able to hear some good information and some good suggestions from you guys. Phoenix Up is here with me and getting ready for the final game on Miramar. We're having some high hopes for all these teams. Definitely a great match is coming up right now. Exactly. We can assure that a great match is coming up uh, after watching all the four matches. The four matches was really exciting. Sometimes Voyne Sports is performing really well. Sometimes DRVS, they are performing really well. Sometimes we can see IAD Sports, they are coming up over all of the teams. And 99 Sports, they are trying to uh, maintain the consistency. They are trying to get as many points as possible. But IAC, what a comeback from coming from their side. Although they could not take the when I win a check in dinner, they they are not definitely they are not focusing on the placement points a lot. If they focus on that, then uh, that will help them to climb up the ladder even more. Obviously, guys, right now we are starting the match in a little while, and already the players are getting ready as it is Miramar, and we are seeing all the guys getting ready on this uh, battleground. The first Miramar was really hectic. And I hope this Miramar will be as same as the previous one. If the intensity of the fight gets even higher, that will be really great as well. Definitely, that will boost our uh, like uh, chances for watching the upcoming day's stream. Uh, it will increase a lot. And already, as you guys have already seen the first four matches, we've seen some great rivalry between all these players. We've seen some great battles between these players. Uh, the Mongolian teams, they're fighting among themselves. Regicide versus uh, I8, that fight was happening. We've seen FSX or TSB, they're actually participating and they're actually getting some good kills from Bangladesh. We've seen T2K versus DRS, they're actually doing great on the first couple of fights. So hopefully, we will be able to see the next couple of scenes in a like little bit and the last match will be even more intense compared to the first ones. Obviously, intense match. We're just waiting for that. After a few moments, the flight path will be starting. And um, the, in the previous match, we have seen already some drop fights at Lost Lost Lena, uh, area, and uh, that is the biggest area, biggest city in the Miramar map. And uh, we are still waiting for that fight. Third party was also happening. So the team, those who were trying to do the third party. They will definitely try to do it again. And this time they have to be very, very cautious about that because the teams that will be fighting, they will be aware about the third party. Basically, guys, just uh, we are waiting to see the first page of the overall uh, like result leaderboard as well. But that will really come up in the last match. This was a surprise for all of us and right now we actually don't know what is going on on the first page definitely that will come up in a little, little bit and already right now let's just forget about that thing we will definitely show it on the end of this match but once again the fight is getting ready and we are here once again getting ready for the fight ready getting ready for the intense battles but this flight path is heavily supporting the uh, eastern side so the players who are actually willing to go for the western ridges they will have some problems to deal with right now fsx so they're the first team to get away with the uh, uh from the plane and once again we have uh team regicide r3d they're actually going for campo military with tsb then etn and the remaining teams they're actually jumping one by one from the plane let's see where the circle might end up at we have to wait and watch to see all the informations coming in the, according to the flight path, teams are heading towards the eastern portion. And uh, at the first mid of our match, we have seen the first circle was to was uh, centering towards the Impala area. Right now, Red Side Esports they will try to capture the loadouts as soon as possible. Lucky bit definitely that will be taken by TSB Esports, Hassan Del Patron and San Martin. That is gonna be a very hot spot because of Genesis Esports, DRS Gaming. Deer is giving definitely. Uh, whenever they will try to rotate, they have to be very careful about Genesis Sports, T2K, and Bigatron. 
uh, ASTE stalwart esports. They are trying to get the uh, drop of uh, Western location and just look at the circle. The circle is definitely just a reflection of the first Miramar map. This is centering towards Trumaser area. Obviously, but I don't know why Hora Esports, they are here at Pekado. This was not really expected. They are actually going, uh, like in the usual matches, they actually go for the um, Lakobriya side, but not today. They're actually going for Pekado once again. They have STE to deal with right now. Stalwart Esports, that was a good start. And once again, first elimination came on and already one guy was eliminated. Mr. Boro, he was eliminated, but no fear. He's in a really troublesome area as well. And Messi Hora, he has been taken down as well. Stalwart Esports, they are hammering down each and every player first. They had a good fight against Team Genesis in the first couple of Erangel matches. They were dropping out in the uh, Rozok section. But once again, they are do actually doing great on the Pekaro region tonight. Right now, No Fear will be the final player. And I guess he is trying to leave from the scene. He should leave because otherwise it will be really troublesome for the team. If Hora doesn't get any point from this match, then the day's end will not be in their favor at all. Okay, viewers, right now let's go back to Team Genesis Esports. Yamzai, he's actually playing on this match. We have Flame 4C, he was eliminated. Uh, Yamzai, Tomla, and Westy, they're actually participating. But right now they have to take a fight against Team Falcon Esports. Falcon Esports is moving in directly. Nizid was spotted, but Westy, he doesn't have that great angle to work with. He doesn't have any sort of lethal throwable to throw away towards uh, this guy, Nizid. But Nizid... As he's cautious than ever before, he's trying to leave from the scene. He's not moving. Uh, he's not uh, He's not uh, stopping at any specific positions. Once again, No Fear was eliminated. And Hora Esports, they're taking an exit without any point. That was really unfortunate. And we, was not re we were not really expecting this type of an attack coming from the Hora side. And once again, Stalwart Esports, they were outstanding. They were doing really great. And compared to the... Like, first couple of matches, they're actually getting the squad wipe really, like, in a very short little time. Pure chaos is happening. Just look at Hora Esports. Hora Esports, the average they were holding just before this match was only two. And from this match, they did not secure a single point. So, the day is not good at all. They did not touch the double-digit threshold yet. And uh, right now, Nirzad is taken down by Bigatron and Sword Esports versus Four Miracle Vibes. That fight is also possible. Voin versus uh, STR. We can see Hopeless is completely wiped out. Voin Esports for Miramar match. Voin is very, very strong. And uh, from the upper ground, they are just trying to support the player of uh, Four Miracle Vibes, who is right now. Playing with Matex, Tag, Sirius, he is playing Indian Esports. They're also getting damage right now. Shiziel, he will be securing the kill. Alex is facing the retaliation from Riz. Okay, once again, we have Zeta and uh, the remaining guys from Voin Esports. They're just waiting over here. But once again, Stronger Esports is willing to get some more kills from this angle. Right now, Stronger Esports. They were starting with the three members, but once again, after losing two of them, it was really unfortunate. Right now, these guys are in deep trouble. ET and Esports Gaming, they are surviving over here. TT is here, but once again, they have to take a fight against the team IHC. IHC, they're actually really famous for going to the Monte split, but in this flight path, they were not really able to go over there. That's why they are starting this fight over here in the El Azhar section, but still El Azhar is not really like giving them too much of a promise once again 1v1 is coming up tt he might be taken down but no tt with 1v4 against iac the world champions has been defeated from this guy all alone he was able to deal some oh great God. damages and a great finish from this guy what a start from him outstanding gameplay was on top super Oh my god, what a performance from his side. Right now we can see T2K Esports, they will try to rotate in a better location. Right now Genesis Esports, they are still fighting against uh, the enemy team, Falcon Esports. Uh, they, are just, they were just holding, but third party will be coming up from the higher angle, higher ground. 
action. He has taken down Westy. Westy was uh, will be finished immediately. Yamza, he's taken down by Slippy. DRS Gaming, they were just holding, just coming freshly from Hassan Del Patron and doing the third party on San Martin area. If it's like the teaser, he was taken down and finished immediately by Insane from TSB Sports. Okay, guys, so we are back once again. And right now, as you guys can see, we have TSB in front of us. Kokem Devil in San Arabi. They are here in the Lakobrea region. They have the vehicles. But I don't see any sort of enemies in front of them. So I guess they should move. They should get back into the fight once again. And T2K, Suog, and Turlov. Right now, they're taking a fight against Leo Esports. After taking the first elimination, they will try to get some more from here. But Leo, they don't know what to do after losing Liquid X. They have the remaining players. Let's see. W uh, uh, is here. We have Height. We have Ajaya. But T2K, they're actually waiting a little too much far away. And that's why no grenades or nothing is actually dealing any sort of damage towards the enemy player. Leo Esports, they need to move in. And right now, they're actually uh, 400 plus meters away from the circle. So they need to be a little bit more cautious. Once again, Leo Esports, they are like trading those grenades. But that trade did not do any sort of damage to any of these players. Obviously, and uh, right now, WWW, he is just trying to get an another knock with the help of his teammate, Haidami. He'll be providing the smoke support. One smoke will be popped as soon as possible. But the problem is circle in Miramar. You cannot afford the circle uh, damage for a very long time. The second circle will be starting soon. Just look at the position of 99% esports. If you focus on the strategy of 99% esports, the focus is on the getting the placement point. And 99% esports, so far, they have executed their plan very well. Planning is one thing and execution is another thing. And in terms of execution, 99% esports, they are doing really great. Most of the team, they will be coming from the side of Pegado, Power Trade, FS, Axo, esports. If they follow the roadside area directly, they will, uh, they, they will enter inside the circle very comfortably. But if you look at the micro micro screen then you can see hi dummy is facing problem he is just chasing down the enemy player from t2k esports but t2k esports they just clutched it to rule off has secured total four elimination points a brilliant one four from the side of t2k esports t2k to rule off obviously great performance from his side and leo didn't stand a chance against this team that was a very 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 important finish from their side as well once again, DRS, they're actually doing great as well. Sleepy has been eliminated, but Gan, the Killer, and Exempel, they are the four players who are actually surviving on this fight. Still, they have some enemies to deal with, so they have to be a little bit more careful, I guess. We have Falcon, who is actually just waiting over here with two of their members. Falcon Esports, they have two kills, though, so that's a good start from their end. But unfortunately, as they have lost two of the players, I don't think they will just try to take a fight. They will not waste any time or whatsoever. Right now, we have Dears Gante, who is just moving into the zone, I guess, but they don't have the vehicle support. Killer YT, he is trying to deal some very, very, very long range damages, but still, like, I don't think he will be able to successfully wipe out anyone from this fight, but still, there might be a vehicle explosion still. Uh, vehicle explosion possibilities over here with us right now we have strawberry sports players in front of us and we have btr against them so let's see who wins from this fight boxy versus player three who will be able to take the first one boxy he is already spotted but boxy he was very safe player two and player three both are spraying in the similar location boxy will be safe or not but the vehicle that will not be usable from now on the tired or tired or punctured genesis esports they are eliminated they have secured how much how many points total five points from the day one one point from each, each match and genesis esports definitely their capability is higher than this so what esports player four still waiting for the pick uh, waiting for a chance of uh, knocking down btr bigot on esports stalwart esports they are just holding the higher elevation right now realm storm they will try to get inside the circle they just dropped at Chumasera, and from there that location they 
did not uh, need to move a lot. The airdrop has been taken already. Obviously, one more drop has been secured already by the players. But let's see, we're down to the top 11 teams and we have 36 alive players as of now. Knockout 70. And the remaining guys, they're just waiting over here. But still, they need to be careful. Rather, the HRX Mad Machine, Knockout 70 and Dictator. They're just waiting over here. The previous matches were not really on their favor at all. They were not able to take too much of a point. But still, right now, they're at 13th position. Definitely, if they can get more than 10 elimination on this match, or at least 10 points from this match, that will definitely boost their chance quite a bit. Then they'll be able to at least secure the first position, uh, first page position. That will be great for their side as well. Right now, we are looking back to Registered Esports once again. Registered versus TSB. That might be a thing right now because TSB, they're in a really close proximity compared to uh, Registered Esports. DE Blade is actually playing with the squad, Vaz, uh, Noki, and Ghost. They're here as well. They need to play some good attention. Otherwise, TSB has some really unique ability to attack. So let's see if they have the, what it takes or not. The Blade dished out some grenades, but that was not it. The first couple of damage was great. But once again, Blade with the opening knockout with that shotgun. And he will finish the enemy in no time. And once again, TSB just wasted their first player. Just wasted the first player right now. T Regicide Esports. Blade, he is trying to do some free nades uh, depending on the sound cue from the side of TSB Esports. TSB Esports, they're definitely trying to get the control of that uh, compound. And Blade, the heart is taking, the heart will be beating very fast as he will be alone at that location. His teammate will be there for the support within a few moments. Right now, we can see Blade, he is moving forward, he is pushing forward, he is not in a defensive mood at all he is uh, trying to attack he is he is for Kokem and Kokem you cannot take him lightly uh, Kokem he definitely dealt some damage but that was very difficult and just look at that Noki he is knocked out that was brilliant you cannot take Kokem lightly what a shot that was two kills have been secured by TSB Esports Kokem and action he is also damaging Regicide Esports, Regicide Esports, they are facing problem from a lot of side. Basically viewers, but once again, Kokem and their teammates are actually trying to stay alive as long as they can. The problem is right now they have already lost Devil, but yet again they have secured two elimination. So I hope in the upcoming fights they'll be able to perform even better. Tour Love has taken another knockout against DRS Esports. DRS right now surviving with only two and a half of their members. Right now they're on the edge of the circle, currently not in a very like good position. T2K will definitely try to confirm all those elimination points. But once again, Igneous, he was taken down. He was the first match's MVP. But let's see if Jean and Turlov will come in and uh, revive his teammates. Voin Esports, they are actually going in over there as well. So if Voin comes in, then DRS, T2K and uh, uh, Voin will have a like three-way battle. Let's see who wins from this fight. Stalwart Esports, they are just waiting at the center of the circle. But the remaining teams, they need to move in quickly. BTR, they need to be careful. Otherwise, GSM will come in and there will be a great amount of attack coming in in a really small amount of time once again tsb arabi and the remaining guys they're still outside the circle and in a little bit they will have the zone surrounding them so they need to move in quickly and already they are on their vehicles on the toes right now moving into the circle Okay guys, TSB Arabi and the remaining guns already right now they're trying to get inside but once again Insane71 he's in a troublesome position and that's why Arabi came in to the rescue and he just took him and right now they're actually going inside right now they're in the circle so that's the most important thing right now they're in a good position once again T2K Jin was the guy who was taken down TSB sorry T2K my bad T2K has been eliminated after taking five elimination from the, from this fight and DRS Right now, with only two players surviving, they're still winning this fight. After that, they're actually taking a beat down by Stalwart Esports. Stalwart, out of nowhere, they're just coming in hot and they're actually eliminating all the players one by one. Right now, DRS is only surviving with one member. Let's see if he's able to do a clutch or not. So we have to wait till the end to watch it out. 
Zeta, Mami, Maxius, and Zeis. They're the two survive. Uh, they're the four survivors on this fight. Once again, we're back to Team FSX. So FSX is still inside the circle, but not in a very good position as of now. So they need to climb up that hill, and from that hill up, they'll be able to spot out some more enemy players. So that will really ch uh, create some more chances from their side as well. Once again, we are back to Amir Bhav, but the problem is we are looking for this team to go above this hill, but right now they don't have too much position to work with. FSXO and uh, Team Falcon, they're really in a close proximity, so that means these two teams might take into some uh, go into some fights. As seen and the guys already, they knows about the enemy's position because we were looking at them, they were just holding the position against Team Falcon. So Falcon right now, if they don't know the enemy's uh, location then they will come into some good uh, troublesome areas so let's see if that will happen or not gsm they're here as well and right now they will take a fight against voin voin as uh, like only two members right now they're on top so definitely if gsm can take away the table topper that will create some chances for the team drs gaming right now uh, mummy was able to take a knockout against team uh, gsm knockout once again gsm right now they're in a troublesome area and dictator with a very good knockout right now mummy blue was taken down the last guy will try to move away and voin still surviving with only one member knockout needs to be revived quickly but this guy is outside the circle so no matter what still someone will try to rescue this guy and after that they will be able to get inside the circle once again we have team regicide they're here with us right now surviving with only two members let's see what will happen over here right now the position is not really looking great for the quad let's see what will happen uh de blade doesn't know like the enemy other enemy's position but he's not giving away his position as well so let's see what will happen uh regicide ghost and blade they're the two survivors from the squad after taking one elimination they are just surviving with two members, so that will be really troublesome. Kokem was finally taken down by Falcon IC. Once again, Falcon Esports, they are also getting some more elimination points. But TSB, they are in a troublesome area right now. Strong, uh, Stalwart Esports, they are here with us as well. Uh, Leon Punk taking another knockout against JP9, 99%. They are in a like problematic scenario right now. Already, Dictator, he might get into some more troubles. Voin Esports has been taken down. That means the table toppers has been eliminated right now they don't have the position to deal with the position to work with is not really supporting them at all once again stalwart they have what it takes to climb up the ladder if they can wipe out b tier early then i hope they'll be able to climb up at least into the like a top five or six position so that is the main goal from their end as well right now player three is here killer white and xmp they're just waiting over there right now this position is not really looking good for drs gaming because Right now, all the players from Stalwart, they're actually trying to find out all those enemy players. And DRS XMPL, he was just trying to move inside the circle. But as long as Stalwart is ports is in front of them, they don't have the leverage. They don't have the open ground to deal with. And right now, yes, the first knockout came in quite quickly. Once again, Stalwart is ports. They're actually willing to get some of the uh, final finishes. Stalwart right now have two members knocked out currently. But still, the remaining guy who is actually trying to go for the revival process, He's still there with the enemy team so that's why they will just do great i hope mad machine dictator uh and the remaining guys uh they're here let's see we'll just wait uh, for a little while and let's see drs killer whitey as he's solo it's his thing to do already they will try to move in quite quickly but once again owner dan he's just here and the remaining guys from 99 percent they're just on the roadside, so they need to go for the, like, I guess they should go for the hills. Otherwise, like, they will be in a vulnerable situation from my end. Or once again, IC has been eliminated. Action will be the last player for this lineup. Falcon CSA. Will they be able to survive on this fight or not? We're just waiting to see. Action, just in a very, 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 uh, like, problematic scenario. His... Uh, he is in front of this stalwart lineup. So stalwart versus Falcon. That might be a thing. Once again, Roger, uh, Roger OP. He will get spotted, I guess. Neon, uh, sorry, Leon. Leon was taken down. And after that, we have BTR Voxy. Voxy is the only one right now surviving for this ward. And if he gets eliminated, that will really like uh, be a little bit more uh, uh, chance creating for the squad of team stalwart esports right now they're still surviving with four members but yet again one member 
who is knocked out so he needs to get revived quickly otherwise it will be really troublesome is to eat player four he is taking another knockout against gsm knockout 70 ratata hrx mad machine they're here as well on the other hand this position is not really looking good for the uh, GSM side as GSM they are actually losing their players one by one and not just stalwart team uh, DRS is also getting some more elimination points so that's a good one <clears throat> this position is great for stalwart as of now they have six skills and they have all their players alive so that's a good one GSM they were still trying to survive but right now they have only one player to deal with so let's see if he's able to survive this fight or not mad machine was taken down player one he got the confirmation and after that all the kills have been taken gremlin storm after confirming two elimination they were the team to get away from this lobby right now we have only seven teams top seven is with us and all these teams will get uh, at least one or more placement points so let's see who is the team who will get one placement point who will get wiped out right now if it's exo they're here they're here in a like tough situation so acid he's in a like position which can be really problematic already another team has been eliminated finally and that is none other than falcon regicide is in a really close proximity right now the point difference between falcon and regicide is only one so that means regicide should try to take at least one or more points to recover their position at the top three that will be their main goal today i guess and yes they have done a knock and let's see if they can confirm this uh, that elimination point so that they can like create some more possibilities kokem Right now, he is still alive with us, and Koke means in Arabi. This trio, as long as they're alive, we can't like uh, think that team uh, Bangladesh or team uh, FS EXO or TSB will get hammered out. They have some good chances as well, as we have only two teams right now surviving on the lobby from our end. So I hope these teams will be able to perform even better on the upcoming couple of fights. Keen is just waiting over here, but the problem is already 99. Roger OP was spotted from him, but this guy doesn't have any sort of big scopes, which was not really equipped. He had a 4x, but he, he, if he equipped that 4x into the like M416 on the right time, then it would be a little bit more better from my end. All right now, FSX for Keen and the remaining guys, they need to wait a little bit. Acid was knocked out, and this was hap well, this was bound to happen because. He was not really in a good position he was bound to be taken down and finally that did happen once again player three from stalwart esports they're getting some more points right now these guys have 10 elimination but now surviving with only three players still they are doing great great overall results are coming up for the squad registered ghost is here with us uh Vasnik and uh noki was eliminated in quite early fashion but ghost and blade they are the survivors as of now and right now they have only one mission that is to climb up the ladder already they have recovered some good position against ste ihc btr they have also fallen down a little bit so i hope they'll be able to come back once again viewers right now we are on the final match and i hope you guys have really enjoyed this and once again stalwart esports they are showing no mercy to anyone they're showing no signs of stopping right now these guys player two with only one elimination the remaining guys really did did uh they really did great and player one with four eliminations player three with three eliminations they're actually doing great right let's see if they can get some more right now they have 10 and they have tsb in front of them they have the zone control as well so if they can control the zone to the end i hope they'll be able to perform even better on the upcoming ones tsb insane kokem they might get spotted but somehow, 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 they will not be able to, uh, like, secure any sort of kill because the enemies are behind those covers. Even though their position is a little bit expected because, like, there's a bridge glitch, as you guys all know, in Miramar. It really, like, shows sometimes the enemy players in front of you. But still, if you, like, fire at them, if you shoot at them, nothing happens. All the uh, bullets get blocked away by the wall or by the hill or whatever it is in front of the, in front of the players tsb rb finally he was not really secured and player two with the opening knockout against this lineup let's see if they can go for the confirmation and yes pokem he was also taken down pokem right now eliminated rb eliminated it's all up to insane 71 let's see if insane has some insane clutch to do that is the thing i want to see belmont with the opening knockout keen he was finally taken down and belmont with the grenade elimination they're actually doing great right now these guys have uh, three kills but the problem is belmont is all alone he has secured the top five position but he's not willing to stay at this top five he need to get some more that is the thing i have in my mind 
player one and player three they're still surviving over here player two is still surviving over here but right now they're on the edge of the circle they need to move in quickly already they're using those vehicles for going uh get, getting into the movement right now viewers uh player two already he's getting inside the circle but right now he will not try to use the vehicle because otherwise his position will get compromised but once again he has another vehicle in front of him which he can use for as a cover uh, for, uh so maybe he will try to use that as his support on, once again belmont he will try to confirm another elimination and amit bau is the guy who has been eliminated if it's like so without any elimination they have been eliminated once again player three taking another one right now they have confirmed 14 kills it's a great move overall great 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 performance are being shown by stalwart esports they are showing no mercy to enemy as i was already saying but late he needs to play smartly already one player was coming for him but no that was not the case and stalwart esports they have finally reclaimed their chicken dinner congratulations stalwart esports is doing wonderful on this match even though we don't know the actual positions of uh, actual names of the players but still they are doing great we actually know about these players they're actually doing wonderful stalwart esports uh, after this uh, fifth match they have taken the chicken dinner and right now i just want to see all the overall informations let's see which team got how many points that is the question I have in my mind. Let's say uh, in a little bit, the information is coming up on our screens. So you just have to wait for a little while. The MVP, that is none other than stalwart player one because he got more than 1000 damages. He got five elimination, five assists as well. And the longest elimination was not really like that big of a deal. But still, it's doing great. There is no like other way around. Right now we have all the players surviving on this fight. Let's see what will happen to the next couple of uh, like segments that is coming up once again. But right now let's go back to the top four teams. Stalwart, Crazy Side, 99 and TSB from Bangladesh. They are here as well. And I hope uh, this uh, match will be really an entertain uh, entertaining one. And the players will be reminding themselves that they need to be a little bit better on the upcoming days matches so we just have to wait and watch what will happen stalwart crazy side 99 tsb they're here with us stalwart with more than 9000 meters traveled still they didn't use too much of a throwable items but their average survival time was quite high compared to all the other teams who actually played on this match but after that we have crazy side we have 99 we have tsb in front of us once again these teams are going to survive with uh i guess a little bit of an effort because they were not using too much grenade or too much throwables whatsoever at all still stalwart is on top with 25 points from this single match so yeah that is great but what is happening to the rest of the squads regicide they're the second team who got 10 points only but the remaining squads were unable to get uh like the double digit points so that was really unfortunate i hope They'll be able to perform even better on the upcoming days. Right now, we are actually getting ready to see some intense battle on the second page in which we will see the remaining teams and some of the teams were not really getting into some great battles. They were not really doing some great damages or whatsoever, but still, they need to play this smartly. And I hope in a little bit, we'll be able to see the next page where we'll see the rest of the teams. This will come up in a short while just guys wait a little bit okay the remaining page that is here with us right now etn with four points we have one team who did not join unfortunately i don't know which team that was but hora they're here with zero point i guess ia didn't join on this match because i guess they were not available at the point but the remaining guys they joined but still they were unable to get some good uh like points from this matches hora 4MB, Leo, they got one point each. IHC, GE, GSM, they got three points each. So that is a little bit better compared to the like matches they had played before. So let's see if they can do some better like things on the upcoming days. STE player three, he is claiming the position, but not just him, his teammate player one from Stalwart Esports. Two players right now, like they are holding the position at the MVP rankings. DLS Killer YT is still he is here at the second position. Belmont is here, or uh, like in a real close proximity. His average survival time is quite high, but damage in terms of damage, Belmont is a little bit too low compared to Killer YT. So that's why Killer YT is at the 
second position still maxi is easier with us with 12 elimination but his average survival time is average damage is a little too low so maybe he'll try to come up with a better plan in the upcoming days right now stalwart esport they are reclaiming their throne as the first team on this battleground they are actually doing great with 49 points they're holding the first position then voin esports they're here with us with 46 dr is gaming with 42 same as regicide esports they're 42 as well 41 points with falcons so the competition is really tight between all these teams i it's a bigger tron they're here with us as well then we have 99 and 4 mv or stronger whichever you call them they're here with us with 23 points what will happen to the rest of the teams i'll just go back to the second page and definitely let you know what will happen to the next ones but this has been a great day so far we have seen some great matchups we have, we have seen some great results already uh etn esports they are actually getting up into the fight and already right now they have the 10th position with 22 21 points we have t2k and gsm right now holding the 11th and 12th position i they lost some like uh real good positions right now they don't have the lead over here anymore right now guys the match has ended and right now we will take your exit and right now you guys were watching nbl tier one scream uh season 10 and right now we are taking your exit we will come back tomorrow in the same time so please do subscribe and definitely join on the upcoming day stream right now bye bye see you guys tomorrow